Okay, I think you can hear me now, so... Alright. I'm gonna start this up. I'm gonna eat a little bit. I'm pretty hungry. I didn't really eat much today. But uh, we'll get the battle going here too. And uh, we'll get rock and rolling. So welcome to... I don't know. This this could be the ending. It could be the second last ending. This might be the... This potentially could be the, uh, the ending to this LP. Depends on what goes on here. So we'll kind of see, you know, we'll kind of see what happens. We're going to knock out the Empire, though. So just about to get into that, and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Leave the camera off. I'm going to eat a little bit here for a second for a spell. But um, let's get going here. Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. How you doing, Sayusu? How you doing, Jack? I'm sure you're doing pretty good. But, uh, yeah. So got this team... Good Lord Vampire here, so we've got some good stuff rolling here, you know. And uh, Arc Seraph and all that stuff, and really not much else here. Uh, the map looks pretty tight. Pretty tight. Almost done is pretty quick <laughs> with Martina level 16. Yeah, well, I'm down to two, and it depends. If, if they do attack and they destroy them, then this is probably the, the last episode for this LP so you know we'll kind of see I'm gonna, gonna kind of uh, you know think about it as we play along here so yeah just those two left all right so I think I'm pretty well set pretty much all there's left there. But you know what? I'm not too sad if it if it ends now because I've got other Brigandine stuff that I want to conquer. Plus I also want to like start the affiliate thing up here and I want to do it you know. It'd be nice to start the affiliate thing up. You know? I've been waiting to finish these LPs before I can even do it. So if it happens, then I can actually start sooner. I've been waiting literally six months to actually get that stuff rolling. So it's been a long ass time. Anyways, let's get going. What do you got left? Mm, a little powerful. Dead Zemeckis, that's a good thing. Okay, I don't think I have anything left to do there. Alright, is Kai set? Pretty sure Kai's set. Yeah, he's got a good team, that's nice. Alright, execute the move. And since I already failed the color challenge, I'm not gonna have to worry about that. <laughs> Can't do the orb challenge, it's been failed. Accidentally failed it last time. <laughs> I just totally missed that. Alright, we're going into Old Truth. Got a team of coming along. This should be kind of cool. And I turn on the AI battles in case they do fight. We'll get to see that. So that'll be kind of good. Dish is there. Sorry, I'm just super hungry. I didn't have any time to make anything. Just gonna eat now. I'd rather do it with the camera off for a second, so. But yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. I'm actually thinking maybe we should just finish it today. I'm thinking we should. Cause there's other there's um, other brigadine stuff that I want to start. There's um, other games I also want to start too, and uh, I do want to get the affiliate thing going, cause I've been waiting forever, and then it's gonna be like a whole other week, or two, or three, depending upon how this goes. If um, if my ally is still around. So yeah, I already failed one. Why stop there? 
<laughs> I'll get at least one challenge successfully completed. Cortina With heads held high! Yeah? <laughs> 420. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She has 420 HP. Or 37 MP, that's pretty good. We got her up pretty good though, you know, so I'm pretty proud with the accomplishments we've gone through. I'm still pretty happy with this LP, one way or another. I just do the challenges just to, just to make it a little more interesting for me. But you know what? I'm not so sure I could like level everybody up, like at every single class of every monster. I just don't know if that's going to be a thing. I, I think... I'd try and I'd fail that because I got a level of Patalis and this guy's level 17, sure. And I gave him like a, I gave him an agility potion and stuff, but it took me like a whole LP just to level up one Talus when I was playing New Omekia. So I'm just thinking, if I do, it's gonna be barely there. It and I don't know. I think I have like a 40% chance of actually maxing out everything, Big Maddie. I'd love to give it a try, but I also got this affiliate thing with, with Twitch and I want to start up too. If I didn't have that, I might, but I want to get this rock and roll in here so I can kind of like get all my... Because I got to work on like some legal papers and such and, and uh, that sort of thing and get this thing like going here, you know? I haven't been able to, like, expand on Twitch at all, because I'm in the limbo status. I've got the affiliate ready to go. I just have to sign the paperwork and, and all that stuff. And it's been six months. I've been sitting on it, you know, waiting for uh, myself to finish these LPs. So this one will be probably one of the fastest LPs I'll ever have done. If I would, would attack my ally, it'd be like another LP or two. So it may make about the same, but Carleon, you can pretty much win this fast. Carleon is a very fast country to win. Once you get moving and your ally actually does well, so New Omekia does well, you can win big time. Like, if they suck, like if New Omekia was getting crushed, it would take longer. It definitely would. Gotta have them last hit high. Level knights with Halo for them guys. I know, I know, and that's a, that's a ton of grinding on just like one knight or whatever. Most of the other monsters I could probably get up there. Some of them I could just get from quests and such. But getting that talus is a pain in the ass. Seriously, a huge pain in the ass. And I mean, it's it's fun, but it's so time consuming and on hard. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. You know, we'll go there. That's good. We do have the white dragon there, but you know what? I do have a gold dragon right here. So I think I'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Absolutely. That crazy level 30 requirement. I know, I didn't even, like, as soon as I accepted the challenge, I wasn't even thinking about the Talus at all. I was just thinking about all the other monsters. I'm like, God, yeah, it's not so hard. You know, Salamander, Fafnir. You know, bomb off. Those are the only really grind heavy ones you gotta do, because you got, you know, those classes. The Lilith and the and the Archangels, they go up pretty fast, because holy wording everything. You get a thousand points a piece. It's so easy to level up um, a demon and an Arch Arch Seraph. It's ridiculously easy. Thor and Loki, a little harder, but if you get good placement and you, you know, halo them. Yeah, you can do pretty well. I wanted to show you the Thor smash. People don't realize how powerful that thing is. Maybe you do, but... It's, you put power on that thing? Holy shit, just stand back. The only problem is you can't hit flying... Super high flying creatures. Ground creatures? You can do it easily 400... 420 damage on anything around you if you power that thing up. That is devastating. Just devastating. I've showed that in a video in the past, and I put power and react on a um, on a Thor, 
and just smashed it against Kador twice. Knocked out Kador, like, almost instantaneously. I think he had like 100 hit points left or something. Him and his crew with Gish and Zemakis and like, really, really big stuff. You also need level 10 for the Giants. Yeah. And I had le I had a level 10, and then it freaking died. <laughs> it just died of me in one battle. I'm like, damn it! I just had this thing. I just had it. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. It was gone, just like that. Hastron G doing only 500 to Leon S. Whoa, man. Yeah, I could see that. You're talking about this version, right? Because you put a power on a Avenger, hit the Queen. Grand Edition, I'd say probably like 400 something. This game, holy cow. Really? No way. I have to see that. Wish you could have screenshot that thing, but it's kind of hard to tell. You don't know what's going to happen half the time. You know? You pretty much have to record it the whole time. You know, and just hope and pray you're going to get some amazing output damage, you know? Oh yeah, that's right. If you do the uh, the well, the pre move, the pre move and a crit, and you got the right. Let's say you got the Leviathan because she's like a green orb and a white orb. That would just yeah, that would eat her up. <laughs> if you even could, there's really no way you could even do that. <laughs> she's got too much intelligence for you to really like make good on that. But yeah, definitely that would, you know, that would be pretty, pretty hot. Post move crit. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I'd like, I'll turn on my camera once I'm done eating because I'm pretty sloppy when I eat. <laughs> Especially when I'm really hungry. Um, let's see here. He's gonna. Well, he's probably gonna breath attack down here. Um, should I go head to head? I'm thinking I should. I'm a little more powerful than he is. Yeah, I hope everybody is able to make it. I'm I said I was going to start a little later today. And since it's the last one uh, for some time, I'm trying to think about how to fill the role, <laughs> fill the empty space I've got. I might do Battle Brothers. I'm thinking I might put Battle Brothers in there for a while. Because as far as the multiplayer goes, which the multiplayer is, we're starting to get some people trying to gear that up for that. Um, I gotta make like a powwow for that. So when we actually get going, you know, we'll have everything set up. But that could be Fridays or Sundays. I was kind of hoping for Saturdays, but I don't think that's going to be it. I will keep saying. What will you keep saying? 
<laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we have, I think, seven or eight people, depending upon... If people don't flake out, it might be around that. But if they do flake out, then we might have five or six. So it's five to eight people we might have. You know, typically people like to come and say, Oh, I'm going to hang out with you, I'm going to play it, and they don't show up. So hopefully we don't have any flakes. Should be good to go for it, you know? Yeah, he's not that important. Let's take a bite out of this thing. <laughs> Saturday would be the only day I could. Yeah, I've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I'd like to do either Friday or Saturday optimally, personally. But I don't know if I'd get a lot of takers for Saturday, because I'd be eating into people Saturdays for the next two to three months. <laughs> like, every Saturday night. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe people would want to. Have to see. <clears throat> Look at my current track record time. You know, that's the hardest thing, too, is to ask people to take off their Saturday to, to play an MP game. Fridays, Saturdays, people are more likely to do it. I'm okay with a Saturday, though. I'm okay with a Saturday, but I don't know. Don't know if everybody else is. You know, I think we'll put her here so we can get double magic bursts. I'm a little worried about Gish. I think he's gonna fry my uh, best lead guys there. I think it's gonna it's gonna hurt. Oh geez, there's a uh, oh power spill on you. That would uh, that would really suck. Let's go... Hmm. Nope, that's a breath attack there. Ah, oh, jeez. Where are we gonna go with you? Number two. Way out there, too. Hmm. I think we'll go here? Yeah, we can pull him down one. Alright. All right, we can pull him down one. He'll be kind of safe. You know what? You're in a terrible spot. Well, you can survive an attack here. Yeah, you can survive a breath attack. Well, magic too. There's a few other things coming. That's still bad. Mm. Light feather. <laughs> Alright, we'll get you out of the way first. I don't know where to put this guy though. Probably go there. Let's lower this thing down a bit. Alright. I am slightly satisfied. Not as satisfied as I want to be, but slightly. So we'll get we're getting close. There we go. I'm back. 
Did you miss me? I hope you did. I missed you. I missed you all. Yo! Hey, Val. Hey, what's up, dude? What's going on today, man? <laughs> Always. Oh, thanks very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, Val, we're just talking about the multiplayer. The next one we're going to have uh, a lot of people. So be tuned in for that. It's either, We're either going to... I'm going to make a powwow for it. We're going to get about, I don't know, five to eight people jumping in there. If you want to jump in too, we're going to try to do... Uh, Mike wants to do something like a 2v4 where we're two people play the biggest countries versus four. There are some other options too. Oh, you're on vacation? Oh, cool. So, yeah, Mike wants to do something like that. You know, if other people want to do a 2v2v2, we could try that. But um, we just have to, like, divvy up the countries. Uh, one thing he suggested is that you can move through your allies' countries, but you have to kind of ask them to move through them and that sort of stuff. So we could try that. Which would definitely work in most scenarios. In most cases, it would definitely work. The only problem is if you move through your allies' country, uh, you're losing castles, you know? You just have to, like, be okay with it, or talk about it, or something like that. So that's that's something I'm considering, you know, putting in there. So that is something I am definitely considering here. But, uh, how's the vacation going, dude? Once it getting started, uh, once we um, once we finish the Final Fantasy Tactics uh, co-op, then uh, I'm going to basically start up a multiplayer. But I want to uh, probably for Tactics we have three or four episodes more left, I think, possibly depending. You know, we might do Deep Dungeon and such. But um, I'd have to say like uh, probably almost a month from now, then we'll start up the multiplayer. Uh, yeah, good to get away. You gotta get away sometimes. You gotta take a break. You know, sometimes you just have to. Just clear your mind, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, you're definitely invited to that, man. So, hope to see you there. Hope to see Frost, everybody else that's there. Nick, I think Nick wants to play. We got, um, uh, Nick wanted to try it out a little bit. So I used to really wants to play, but unless we can get it on a Saturday. You know, which op optimally I'd like Saturdays or Fridays, if I can do it that day, you know. So then uh, I'll either do like a multiplayer on a Friday or Saturday, or do the regular like Burgundy LP or something like that, you know. 
Hope y'all do deep dungeons. Enjoy listening to their background. But I think we might actually do deep dungeon. I like the deep dungeon, you know. I'd like to see if I can get an extra Excalibur too. I think that would be pretty cool, especially since everybody wants to pick a knight here. So I've got my Dark Knight tank, and uh, Paul's got his double sword knight, and then uh, Hillholm is running around with God knows what half the time. Now he's a samurai. The other time he was a ninja, and before that he was a monk. He'll he'll probably pick a knight too. I'm guessing. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we'll definitely get some deep dungeon going. So deep dungeon could take. Uh, a little bit of time. I'm guessing it's probably going to be like about a month. About a month out. Uh, before we start up the multiplayer. So, it's, that's that's sort of my guess there. But yeah. Definitely you're invited, Valkos. And uh, we'll have tons of people there. And what, I'm op what I'd optimally like to do is that we're going to have probably like two people per team. If one person can't show up that week, the other person can take control. Uh, that would work out, that way we can, like, continue without any hiccups, you know, in the system. And, uh, if two people per team, uh, one person gets this particular set of armies, this person gets that particular set of armies, and that sort of thing, you know, and kind of work it out with your own team. Uh, so if we did that, you know, it'd work like that. If there were 2v4, then it would still be something like that. But I gotta make a powwow and, like, get everybody to sit down and discuss this, you know, in full. So, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be a thing. I could eat him up easily, but I want to take down this white dragon here. Oh, you know what? We could probably... I think Venom might, um... Oh, she's already close enough. You know what? Let's level her up a bit. I know this Tiamat will get hurt, but whatever. I don't think I'll be taking it into the other battle. But yeah, Val, this, um, tonight might be the night. Tonight might be the night, finishing this game here. Being done with LPs. Because I want to get that affiliate thing going. I've been sitting on that for six months. I've had six months to sit on that and not even activate it. Oh, you got hurt pretty bad. You know what? I only have one healer on the team. Um, I might need you, bro. I might need her. You know, this is a great opportunity. Oh, hey, thanks. You know, I didn't really, like, I didn't, I haven't talked about it much because I've been waiting to finish the LPs to do the affiliate thing so that I can, like, do one or the other without doing it both at the same time. Um... I just have this feeling something's gonna happen and someone's gonna be like, hey, you were you were you were doing this and that and you know, so I'm just gonna do it this way, you know, the, the natural way. Just So I'm gonna get that activated. Activated and uh Yeah, I know man, we're we're so close, you know. I, I didn't know which, you know, if you were going to finish before me, or if I was going to finish before you, I don't know. But I'm just looking at all the all the stuff and, like, the paperwork. Like, I don't, I can't do the emotes, I can't uh, get the bits to go, I can't do any of that stuff because I've been waiting to finish this to start it. So, I'm just going to, this is, this is it. This is it. This is the, the last LP for Carolyon. And, uh... Then we're gonna start that up. Then I think, um, yeah, yeah, pretty much just gonna move right into it. So, it's worth it. It's worth it. So, yeah, yeah, you'll be getting pretty. You'll be get. I don't know when you're gonna be getting done, dude. You think next week you'll be getting done? Cause you're like riding along just alongside me, like, by the time I'm starting to play, you're basically up to where I'm at. So I'm guessing you're, like, about here, right? You got, like, a few castles left, or you got, like, like, one country left to do? Because you're doing two nights a week. I'm just doing one now. Let's see here. Heaven bow. 
for? <laughs> 420 HP. Next week could be a yeah, yeah. All right, I don't want to kill their leaders. I just want to kill their monsters because that's kind of what's going to be pretty strong. And some of these fun. So I'm gonna like knock out. I'm gonna knock out all the monsters I can and see if Nuomechia can finish him off here. So I'm kind of like. I kind of think that'd be kind of fun, you know. Dude, we've been kind of trucking along with almost the same pace for the longest time with Burgundine. You know, we've been uh, doing it for the longest, longest time. How, how you gonna feel when you finally close out the LPs? How you, how you gonna feel, man? I don't know how to feel. I feel like there's a big empty space that's gonna be like there, you know, when I'm, when I'm done with this. We could easily get Big Maddie up to at least a bronze today, though. <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> One good punchy on the big Hydra, that'll that'll go down. Oh hey, that's cool. I rock cafe. I haven't been to one of those in years. Years, dude. I'd like to go. If only I could take this angel out. Do I have a heaven bow? No, I got a power glove. Ooh, even better. Even better. Okay, so I've already got you two to go. Can it? You would never. I don't think you can pass the threshold of Helrado. Not gonna be able to do that. It's gonna try to knock this angel out because that's level nine. Dragoon Seal. Hey, how you doing, man? How's it going today? We're finishing up the LP today. Finishing up the LP. It's gonna be donezo, done and over. Just because, <laughs> just because we're just gonna finish it up. Affiliate stuff, I've said this like a million times, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore, but. And then pretty much mostly people come here on Twitch most of the time anyway. Big Maddie Gook has finally got a Twitch account to, you know, come by and uh, say hi and all that. So pretty much mostly everybody is going to be here, you know? Oh jeez, you're stupid low. I gotta be careful with you. I could lose you. Could give you the final kill though. Maybe we'll do that. I think we'll do that. Keep you on the water. You can definitely go on the water, right? Pretty sure you can, yeah. I feel like I'm going blind. <laughs> Can't even see. <laughs> so, yep. So what happened with the Hard Rock stuff, man? I hope we can kill it. Man, that's bitter. Why is that one so bitter? We can. Dang it, I'm gonna die trying. I wanna get rid of this angel. I don't want them having a seraph in the final fight. That is not good. That's not good business sense. Dang it. I, can't get I needed a critical to get that thing killed. A holy word can do it. Uh, he's out of range too, isn't he? If only I would have waited for that space and I would have gotten in there with the vampire lord. <sighs> Alas, it's not a thing. 
Mm. Let's go uh, drain a little bit of Gish here. Let's go get a, some energy bar. be able to take them. I think I got it. Double holy word. Forgot about you. Yeah, Val. Keep your book open in a month. Because we'll probably, uh, because the deep dungeon is kind of long and you know how long that takes to get there and you got to go through each and every step. Remember that last time we did that? It's fun, but it is it is time consuming. Cause you gotta hit every square. Find that damn exit. Should I front my he's still level eleven. But gotta give him some experience here. buttons I mixed up again. Alright, this ought to open up some spaces here. These pickles don't taste great. I don't know what it is. They don't taste as bad as McDonald's pickles, but they're usually really good. There we go. Oh, I can't get by? Well, why not there? Alright, well... Guess we're going there. Bye bye, Gish. If he stays, I'm gonna be amazed. <laughs> Truly amazed if he stays. But they're probably gonna run. And we got one more fight. We're gonna we're gonna lower down uh, Zemeckis' troops. We're gonna kind of die trying lowering down their troops a little bit because they're gonna have a heavy monster count after this. A very heavy monster count. Because I only killed a few of them, but they, they still have like 13 on the other castle and whatever is moving over there. So they have like good 20-some monsters. And their force retreats aren't going to give me Jack, really. Sorry, Jack. No, no pun intended. Give me a Jin. Yay, thanks. Thanks for level 3 Jin. Go ahead and just keep all of your good stuff or whatever. Just give me a couple garbagey things. This is what happens on my force retreats all the time. This is why I like, I don't really... I don't go, I need to get a force retreat because I'm going to get a good... I barely ever get anything good. I get that. That's usually what I get. The only time I get something good is if I'm attacking New Omechia. If I'm playing as, like, Norgard, I can almost always get that Salamander off of Lance. He drops it like a hot potato. He doesn't care. He's like, Salamander, I don't need that thing. I don't even know why it's on my team. Here, you can have it. Drops it off my front door. You might as well just drop it off of me, you know. Check my Twitter. Okay. All right. I'll have to check that here. Am I still logged in? <laughs> hey, that's cool, dude. They actually put 
How did you... Did they just give that to you like that? <laughs> free drink! Oh, free drink, Valkos! Is this poison or is this some miracle tonic? Never trust a, a sign that says free drink. <laughs> we learned our lesson today. <laughs> Ooh, I got something shiny, I think. I don't know. What are, what are, what are you doing here? No fucking way! I've been <laughs> bitching about this forever! Dude! Oh my god! Dude, I've been <laughs> saying to everybody, don't worry about the Aldous quest. You never get it. This is Aldous right here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's making yourself. The bitter cure. That gin is dying exactly in one turn. I know, yeah. This is insane. I never get this quest. That I've, I've said this, like, I've only got this, like, a, a couple times. I don't know, maybe a handful of times in my life. I practically never get this, so I never try for this. But th there she is. I don't have to go down to two castles. They're down to two castles. <laughs> They're down to one. Emperor's down to one castle now. Well, if I wanted to, then yeah. But this is this is gonna have to finish it off here. Hey ZX, how's it going? Kukui. You want to play hide and go seek? Well, there's only the two of us. She's talking to the dragon. Let's live with dra with dragons and communicate with them. In the grand edition, they make her more of a spirit. She's actually kind of a spirit figure. She just like appears and disappears. I don't know what's what the deal is, but you say is there is there one more? Oh, I didn't notice you. No, no, and she's not going to join me here because I'm finishing this today. I'll have the save file so I can come back here and, like, see later if I can get her and let you know, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to save it up before right before the end, and I'll see, but... My name is Aldous, and this is Piro. Cooey, cooey, or Q. Oh, he likes you. I like him, too. Would you like to play hide-and-go-seek with us? So we play hide and seek with the girl and the baby dragon. Time goes on. Thank you very much for playing with us today. Hope we can return the favor someday. Right, Piro? He's saying thank you. Did you know that the dragons have been around since the era of the gods, long before humans were created? Legends say that their duty was to protect the gods. Dragons are watching what the humans are doing. They are worried about the future for Sina. I know you are a kind person, but please keep this in mind. The girl disappears if she's turned into mist. Okay, so she's still pretty much like... Um, she must be some kind of... I don't know if I should say dryad or a nymph. Maybe she's a nymph. But she's not a human. If she just disappears if turned into mist, she's not... She's not a human, obviously. Wait! Had a mysterious experience. Yeah, she doesn't join me there. But I got Limlight. Dude, Limlight's got great stats. Don't ever, like, put him down. He's a good Project Knight, too. I'd almost like to compare them. I think sometime I'm going to level up Cortina and Limlight together and see which one, like, gets slightly better intelligence and MP stats. I'm going to say Cortina probably does. But Limlight, he started with amazing stats. Just amazing stats. A high centaur! That's not exactly what I want, but see, this is where I could get some extra free stuff too, you know? If I move, I could die. A high centaur will shoot me right between the eye. Oh, I got a free high centaur! This will be a, a welcome addition to this team, holy cow. Can Cortina to two Meteor Doom? I'm pretty sure she can, yeah. I can almost guarantee that. Cortina, Victoria, uh, Carlotta, 
most females' names that start with C and a V in this game. <laughs> so they can pretty much do it. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. Really interesting. Zemeckis is going to be at the helm. He doesn't have anything amazing anymore, except for a couple of Fenrirs, which actually be, you know... This thing is pretty rock solid. I did kill off that angel. I needed to get that thing gone, because it's going to be, like, way too hard for... The AI is not going to be... not going to know what to do with themselves. they got to fight an archangel. Be like, nope, I'm, we're not doing that. Nope, sorry. Just not... It's not, not going to be a thing. This is going to be pretty cool, though. So, I can lead with, um... Dinadan and Kai, if I want to. Which maybe I might. I might. Because I haven't really used Kai hardly at all. I played him on a couple defensive battles, and I haven't really got to play with him at all, so I might bring Kai in there, you know? Got some extra stuff. Um, if you get her one MP boost, she can do it pre-30. She's 444, so Meteor Doom is, what, 255? So that's, um... Or wait, no. Is it 255? I forget what Meteor Doom costs right now. Whatever it is, times it by two, and then you just you just look at that, and you'll see. She could... She, I'm pretty sure she can easily get two Meteor Dooms out of her. She's already 444. That's that's ridiculously high. Let's see what equipment we got, though. Um, a couple okay things. Okay, if we move everybody over, we're gonna have like a good, good whatever. Smaller now! Really? I didn't know that ever happened. <laughs> Is it going, Bringer? There's the centaur. Alright, since I failed that one challenge, I'm just gonna go ahead and just take what I want. Because I can't do much else about it. It is the way it is. Oh, we got two Ds now. When did I do that? I don't remember that. Uh, let's see here. A Hydra. It's not too long to get it up into play, but dragging a Hydra up into Fado is is always not easy. Yeah, we'll take it anyways. If it dies, it'll, you know, be for the greater glory of, you know, doing the wins and all that. Nice that the round meeting happened yet. No, we're gonna... I'm gonna do that probably... I think next week I'm gonna hold a powwow. We're gonna go through that and uh, talk about it and get things set up. Because I, I have to know when I'm, when I'm going to be finishing... I don't really know exactly, particularly, when I'm gonna be finishing the, uh, the tactics thing on Sunday, but... Probably next week, I'm going to get everybody together and we're going to have a big discussion about everything. You know, everything's going to be laid bare on the table and uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So I'm guessing it's going to be about a month from now that we'll start up the multiplayer. We have to pick a day. We have to pick a scenario. We have to pick... I'm pretty sure I have like a scenario picked. I'm, you know, I'm probably going to pick... I'm probably going to like finalize the scenario as long as everybody is okay with everything, you know. But... Um, teams people have to pick uh, and a few other options and such too so but yes yes we're making we're gonna make some progress on that we will make some progress on it you know yeah it's not gonna be it's not, it's gonna be like a month from now about because the um, I'd like to do it on the same day or a different day if we did it Friday then it could be earlier but if everybody still wants to do it Sundays, then I have to wait until I'm done with my tactics LP before that's, th you know, the case. Uh, Raging Paul wants to do it not on a Sunday because he wants to watch the football games when we go into that. So this is a project that's going to take like two months at least, you know, for this this multiplayer. It's not going to be a whole year long like this other one was. I'm going to cap it at um, at 12 turns. Maybe less, depending upon 
stop, you know? <laughs> so I'm probably gonna cap it on 12 turns. It'll be like one year we'll play for like an old style and uh, go from there, you know? Well, it's it's just the way it was, because that's what people had available. That's that's really the only reason. If that's what people have available, that's what I gotta work with. And if it's just Sundays, then it's just Sundays, you know? Dang it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna be retrofitting this team anyway, so this we can wait on that. Alright, so we're moving up there. Toria. Everybody else will come back later. Do we need uh, any monsters from here? Could help. Could help. It might still be Sundays, though. I don't know. I, I can't say. I can't guarantee. I'm going to see what people can do. I know most people can do Sundays. So Sunday might be the day. But if we can change it to Friday... That would be a little more optimal for me, you know, because I'd love to do it on Friday. Then I'll just have, you know, this going on Friday because this is usually my Brigandine day anyways, you know. I know it's uh, and that's the thing. Like, I've got one player who's literally from the opposite side of the world who wants to play. And he's like, anytime after six, then it's after six in the morning for me. So then we can, you know, then I can actually play the game. So I have to do it after 6, at least, you know? And that's probably going to be, for the East Coasters, it's going to be like 7 at night. So this earliest, I probably could do it. Uh, you know, so it's going to be... We'll, we'll play for a couple hours, you know, or 2 or 3, depending upon how much time you have and all that. But we're going to definitely... I'm going to have people on a team. So if somebody has to go or somebody doesn't show up, the other person could take over, you know? And then you can both discuss what you know, your plans are and all that stuff, so. Sort of the dealio. Sort of the dealio. But, I, you know, I'll talk about this more when we um, do the powwow. I'm just kind of letting people know a little ahead of time because this is going to be the, this is the final LP. This will end all basic LPs for YouTube. And I'll be totally done for all normal LPs. Then I'll have to come up with some different ideas, you know? But yeah, this will finish it, uh, Pringer. This will be the uh, completion of all Brigandine for LP. Every country. Every single country. For Grand Edition and Legend of Forcina. Uh, not so open discussion with someone with a lot of free time. Uh, well, yeah, we'll have to discuss and see, you know? We'll have to discuss and see. Um, but I, I, if we do this power, I don't want to, I don't want people getting upset or angry. I want everybody to be able to, you know, if you want to play, we have to like kind of work with, um, what would be good, like a good, uh, balancing that everybody would feel pretty comfortable with. I, I can't guarantee hundred percent comfortability because some team countries might not match up as strongly as others, but in the end, when you're playing multiplayer, it's all based on your own personal play. That's how I see it. That's how I feel. That's how I've been able to play it as long as I have. You know, so it's it's all going to be down to how you handle your stuff. You know, really, in the end. Alright, so I'll go on to Toria. Good stuff. Execute the move. Let's go there. We are down to this. Yeah, Pringer, this is it. This is the final day today. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. If we get that, you know, that many people, it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna try to get two people on a team. If if I if we get less players than usual, then I'll definitely just play on my own team. Um, Cause I'm gonna be here, obviously. And uh, you know, that would work and then other people could be on a team in case one person wasn't there, but yeah. So, all right, so we just moved there. Can't really attack. I do have the AI set to attack, so if they attack Nuomechia, which Nuomechia is heavy with 68 monsters here, 
<laughs> Holy cow! New Omechia grew really, really strong. I'm gonna try to attack them to weaken them, but if uh, New Omechia attacks them, well, I don't know. It could be it. Another rabbit? Okay. Roger, rabbit. So many dragons, yes. Jordan would be very upset. Jordan wanted me to do the no dragon uh, challenge, the last uh, last LP. That made it really hard. Because I was going with all low level stuff. Like, everything uh, 60 and under. And just, like, I have to defend, like, all day. Because they just keep coming at you. They, they look at your power score and they're like, your power score sucks. We're gonna keep attacking you every turn. Ooh, Brionic, that'll help. No, buddy. Too many dragons. Okay, what's the card gonna be? Guess the card. All right, everybody, go ahead and guess this card. Daffy drew a card as instructed. Is it the chariot card? Is it the hermit card? Is it... What do you? What kind of card do you think it's gonna be? What do you think it's gonna be, uh, Pringer Sayusu? Dragoon Seal. I don't know where Big Maddie is. If Big Maddie's here, let me know. What do you think this card is gonna be? Give me a second to choose it. The Star card. Okay. Is it, do they have a Star card? I usually kind of run through it too now, but some of these I like. I like this one, I like the Honeypot Road, I like the Ghost one usually, um, but I've read it, like if I read it for a, a visual LP, I'm not gonna reread it again. Whatever they are, usually it's a chariot, a, chariot, a hermit, um, I don't know if there's a star card, there might be a star card. I forget the cards too. Uh, it could be... I don't know, we'll see. Chariot! Okay, it's so Chariot, I think Chariot is... hit points? I'd rather give you the power of the card! Just like that! Overcome the cross, away, awaiting you. Yeah, 8 hit points. That's not bad! That's not bad! Naruto. <laughs> Would you like a flower? Okay, what kind of flower are we gonna get? Oh, yellow sunflower. Never mind. It's already it already happened. Yellow sunflower. Is that agility? What is that? That's not intelligence. Oh, the spirit in the crowd. It is agility. I got that one right. She has gonna fall into a hole. No! Looks. The Bastard Sword! Oh, I got that one wrong. I always love doing these and just trying to guess, like, what's gonna happen, you know? Okay, everybody came back. Great stuff. Great Caesar's Ghost. You finally came back. Good. Alright, let's, let's organize this a little bit. We're gonna send Kai in with, like, super powerful stuff. Just ridiculously good stuff. I don't know how we're gonna hold all this though. I'm trying to figure that out. Okay, Dindadan's coming. We're gonna take. Uh, actually, we're gonna take this. A red dragon! I want to take Cortina too, though, because she's been, like, here the longest time. Okay, 30 points. Get two Vampire Lords in here, double D? I guess so. I don't know what else to put there. 
You know what? Level six. Jin. A little more a little more tactical, I think, right now. Go ahead and do that. Alright, so those two teams are pretty full. Let's see, should I replace? Nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. No, not gonna do that. Not today. Alright, Cortina, you know what? We could bring this bomb out in here, because why not? <laughs> Let's see, is that 95? That's 95, yeah. I don't think I can fit that. Well, it's 20 points, so I gotta get... That's 40 points. Uh... Yeah, that's 30 points there. That, that won't work, that won't work. Hey, Big Maddie! Hey, how's it going, man? That was good. The first time I saw Seraph was from New America, and I thought they evolved from the Fairy class. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So... Oh, I got 30 points left. I might as well bring a... I might as well bring a Pixie into the fight. That way, get a little protection going up. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's only 20 points. What am I thinking? Mixing up all my numbers now. Well, oh well. Alright, it's so 20 points there. Oh, almost the Holy Griffin. Almost the Griffin. How's it going, Big Maddie? We're gonna finish this up tonight, Big Maddie. We're gonna finish it up. Failed one of my challenges. I'm just totally beside myself and can't do them anymore. Just, it broke the mold. Failing one failed them all. <laughs> kind of, sort of. <laughs> yep. Oh, you know what? I actually could go with, uh... I got a better idea. Let's class up that lizard man we got. We're gonna let, uh, Duomechia get the final kill. Unless, unless they do it right now, and I, I don't have, I can't parlay a little bit. I want to be able to do a little damage to them, you know, before the end. Or kill them off outright. I th you know I did that with the last one, the last Grand Edition. I didn't, uh, I didn't fully kill off the Empire myself. I let my ally do it, and uh, I didn't get to see any conversation with Zemeckis. You know, since it's the final one, let's take him out. I'm gonna probably burn through my monsters. I'm probably gonna burn through all the monsters here. This is gonna be a hell of a fight. Let's bring a centaur along. Some good centaur somewhere. Level four. Take them out with two knights. Nope. That's this. This is the end, dude. <laughs> There's no more. No more challenges. No more challenges. I am. I am opting out of that. For now. In the future, I might do something like that, but not tonight, dude. Not tonight. Okay, I think I have a good team. You know, I'm leaving out my. Leaving out an Archangel, though. But I do have a Seraph to make up for. You know, I think maybe we'll bring the Archangel. Let's get rid of, uh... Let's get rid of... You know what? Why bring these things when I can... Can I bring an Arc? I don't think I have the points for it. 105. Ah, oh, I don't have the points for it. Well, it's one of you two. One of you two's gotta go. Let's do that. Let's bring that arc. I want some holy word. I need to hit their army hard. And I can't even fulfill that. Okay, we're, that's the way it's gotta be. There we go. Okay, Cortina. Okay, okay. Ah, Solar of Us, the impossible challenge. Single night, oh monsters. Yeah, that is absolutely, like, the best thing ever, dude. That always works. You know? You're one knight, no monsters. Just going in there. Their, their knights are like, dude, this guy has got to be insanely powerful. If he's just going to come in solo, we better run. We can't stand it. We can't handle this. It's not, it's not going to happen. You know? <laughs> Alright, Kai. Got the ancient book. Ooh. Three... Or... Nah. 
Ancient Book's probably one of the best for him. Room power 15. Oh, that could help with some monster growth. Well, 15 would be a class to up, uh, something or another. 45 points there. Or... 65... 60... Depends on who I'm going to flip it out with. Really? 60 or 45? love to get that centaur, but not gonna get that. I'd rather just get, like, something very, very good and optimal. We are going with the ball moss, so that should be nice, you know? They're afraid to the ma- yeah, the massive counterattack from the single knight. He wants to just waves his sword around <laughs> during his dominance. Yes, yes, I used to, exactly. <laughs> He's just like, look at this sword here. You cannot beat me. You are gonna go down. And I got the Leviathan for him too, so he's like... Although I won't hurt Zemeckis as hard, I could put a different weapon on. But attack plus 20, I mean, you can't... You can't argue that. I mean, I could give him the, uh, the Ruby Glove, but that doesn't give him attack, no. I'd rather have some more attack here. I think it'd be more fun. Have some more attack. What do you think? Should I let the AI win, or should I win, or... Do you think I should just break down Zemeckis' monsters and watch the AI, you know, beat them down and win? What, what, what does everybody say? You know, we'll win the game either way, but... Because Zemeckis is the ally, still. Uh, just with the extra monsters on someone's team. Yeah, everything is pretty well set. Kai's gonna go, Dinadan's gonna go, and, uh... I'd love to bring Mary up, but Cortina, I've had her for so long right now. Letting the AI would probably be faster. Yeah, I can, uh, well, I mean, it's on auto. I can just press the, uh, hold down the button faster and it'll, it'll go faster. But I don't think, I don't know if they'd totally knock him out. I mean, they'll probably crush him, get him low, and then they'll retreat. And then they'll just have to come back again. So I'm going to go in at least once here, and we'll see what you can get him down to. It would take several attacks. Well, if I get if I kill all their monsters and they have no monsters left, then they'll make it can go in and steamroll them. That's what I'm thinking about doing. What do you think? Just stick with tradition and let Numekia kill off some mechas like uh, history intends. Or should I knock it out with Carrion? You'd watch the ally doing the rest. Okay. Well, we're gonna have one final fight here, unless uh, other people chime in that they want to see me kill off some mechas. Uh. I'm definitely going to go in there and we're going to lower down monsters. But if you want to see me destroy them, you have to let me know. Okay, so this is the team that's going to go in. Should be on. I uh, think I set that up. Yep, set to on. Okay, so what's the team going to be like? We're going to have to face off against uh, one of the most powerful... You didn't put... I don't get... You didn't... Oh, that's why more... I was thinking it was going to be those three with Gish, but Soliel's there instead. You know, if I don't beat him, we'll never get to see anything about Bolnoil. <laughs> It'll just say, the country's over and you win, and that's it. It should be a very fast ending, you know, we do it like that. Okay, execute the attack. I got to attack it first. Okay, so the quest here, if you want to see the AI finish him off, is to kill everything except for Zemeckis. And then I can retreat. That's basically what I'll probably do if you want to see the AI... If you want to see New Omechia historically knock out Zemeckis, then I'll... I'll let the... I'll let the, uh... I'll let, uh, New Omechia do it. This is a massive army. I'm I'm probably gonna suffer a little bit of attrition. I gotta. I'm a little worried about this too. 
Attacking Zemeckis on defense with a fully loaded army? It's kind of like attacking Kai on defense. Now, Kai's here, yes, but I'm on offense. It's different. A little bit different. They got a Holy Word, they got a Geno Thunder. They've got area heals. You can keep most of his stuff alive. I'm, I'm gonna say if, if I kill off a few things and he ends up knocking out a knight, then I'll probably back off from there. But. His stuff isn't fantastic, but it's very it's very meaty, it's very tanky. And I really cannot lead with Dunedan here. <laughs> I'd love to, but I... I mean, I am leading with Dunedan, but... I can't, like, throw him out there all by himself. <laughs> as much as I'd like to, be like, this is Dunedan. This is the power of Dunedan. You know, the power of Dunedan... By the power of Dinadan, die! <laughs> it's a little weird when you watch them too, because sometimes they'll pull off some amazing things. You know, even when I was doing the multiplayer uh, subscriber uh, gamble. Sometimes the AI for like Norgard, they like set up their Phoenix to do an airy heal perfectly. Three times. Like perfectly. Like they purposely did that. I was like, wow, you really did that? And then like the next time I watch Kai go off onto the bridge and he's in between two rocks and you think, oh, he's kind of safe, but he's still in the front lines. And then the rocks pull away, leave him completely alone and he gets smashed. Just like that. It was just... It was hysterical to watch. It's like, okay, Kai, well, we were gonna defend you here, buddy, but um, we're kind of low and we're gonna run away, you know? Yeah, that's what I did with the with the subscriber uh, gamble. What I, what I did, that was like a year ago I did that. And it was a little frustrating because um, I'm trying to get people to tell me where they want to attack, and then I let the AI do all the fighting. You know, so you watch AI do the fighting, which is actually seriously, like, ugh, you know, you, you can't control your own guys and such. And so it was, uh, it was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. It wasn't like, it was seriously hard at times to watch some of the crazy shenanigans they do. They just, it's like they don't, there's no serious thought process in, in some of the things they do. And sometimes... Like, the Phoenix was, like, awe-inspiring. I'm like, you really actually really did that? I was kind of proud of him sometimes, but most of the time, no, I was, like, very disappointed. Extremely disappointed, actually. You know? Betrayed by the birds. <laughs> Suicide using AI. Yeah, and, um, so... I think maybe that might be right, Pringer. You might be onto something there. I, I think they probably don't want you to cheese the game like that, and uh, that that does make sense. It really kind of does. Because if you could just easily, you know, get through the game, no problem, Bob. You know, it just would. Uh, they might have a problem with that. You know, what, I'm gonna put you right here. Try to get a double react on you. I don't know where I want the react though. I think here's not so bad. That way I can get Kai. Okay, I got a setup for bombs. Giant bombs. I thought she was going to start with a holy word, but she's setting up for that holy word right now. She's setting up for that holy word right this very moment. Ah. Don't you? Thank you. I, I don't need a stone trigger right now. 
It's not going to help us win the game. But we do need a poison rock, though. That's important. <laughs> that will help me tremendously. There's nobody to cleanse you except for her. And she's probably going to do a holy word, so that rock is going to go down a little bit easier. Ghoul versus Dinadan Paladin level 30. What happens? <laughs> Here on Frosty Trigger, you will find out. <laughs> that looks completely wrong. <laughs> Ouchie. I almost wish I had the calm solace at this point. You know? Got that purple candy going. Absolutely. You know, I'd love to put her in the front, but I'm... I'm a little worried about her because she's like a double... She's, you know, she's got that blue element, and Zemeckis could literally one-shot her. Four-space tile range attack thingy. Let's get the bomb mod out in front first to start this up here. Let's get that going right there. I want her in this space. This is exactly where I want her, is right there. I am so worried about her. One, two, three, four. He could try shooting her from there. So he's got four ranged attack and he can move and do it. Oh no wait, no, that's... That's the other one. That's the other version. Never mind. One, two... Okay, so we can go... Uh, I'd like to get her closer, but she is in such danger with all that stuff. She is in serious danger if I put her way out there. Damn, Dinadan crit that poor ghoul. Oh, yeah. Just imagine me having the, uh, the Calm Solace on, triple white, and getting a crit. It'd just be a one-shot. Just came to fight and pff, gone, just like that. And count on how many fresh ghouls are needed to defeat Dinadan. <laughs> I'd have to say, if you had a zombie apocalypse, let's say we really had like a zombie apocalypse, Dinadan would survive it. And you'd have to make friends with him because there's no other way you'd survive unless you had him on your team. Just wouldn't happen. You'd be like, you'd, you'd be uh, SOL most of the time. We got two. Of oh, that's right. We got two of these things. Let's kill one off quick. Get one of these things gone. Alright, so Liel. I'm not really worried about my team so much. If we're gonna watch the AI fight, my stuff might just end up dying. Just to kill his stuff. So that they'll actually go and attack it. <laughs> if they have like a fully stacked army, it's gonna take some months for them to decide to go in and fight it. Although that's kind of their mission. Two fully stacked armies don't typically go against each other. AI tries to like go after the weakest point, the weakest link all the time, you know? And if they see something that's kind of, that's really weak to them, they'll definitely attack. But if it's kind of like an even fight, they're like, yeah, well, let's just wait, let's wait until they're a little weaker. Machismo is it? Yeah, that's a pretty cool name, actually. Machismo. In <laughs> a wide group to bait everything. You could kill Dinadan with, with ghouls or zombies if you wanted. His armor is, like, set. You can't bite into him at all. He can't get scratched or bitten. Like, his armor is good to go. And that sword, he'll just, like, he doesn't even have to chop heads off. He can just cleave you in twain and you're gone. That's that. Game over, zombie. You can't, you cannot beat 
Dinadan in an apocalypse. It's not possible. That's why the zombies are here, but they're not out of control. Because we got Dinadan in the country. Dinadan is probably the one that's sweeping up most zombies. Him and maybe Gwingolin, because, you know, you got the north and the south. Anybody else in between? I don't know, but... Dinadan versus six ghouls. You could have 30 ghouls versus Dinadan. He'll still win. They'll all miss him most of the time. In this game especially, since there's no surround, you know, area grip thing. He, he's 94 agility. He'll just, like, he'll juke and jive the whole time. Like, nobody will do anything to him. Can we get this guy a little bit higher? I think we can. I think we can. We do have to move up, though, because I need to get a little bit closer. <laughs> GE rules, there you go. I like them both. See, now, if that was a Dindadan hit, he'd be done. Sorry. See, this is the reason that I just don't know. I don't know if I can beat... Like, trying to get a Talus up took me a whole LP with just New Omechia. Trying to get every single monster all the way up. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I'm sorry, Big Maddie. I, I want to, but... I just... I feel like I'm playing against the... Uh, like... I've got like a 40-30% chance to actually do that. A very, very, very small percentage. I think we'll go with the Holy Word here. Open up some space. Get some breathing room. Yeah, yeah, we'll start up the Holy Word. I could bomb him and get him out of the way though, that would help. But I got, a dun I got an extra Holy Word here. I got three Holy Words actually. No, oh, I actually got Geno, no, I got Geno Thunder in him. I got all kinds of stuff. All kinds of goodies for my enemies. And they have bad INT, so they're not they're not gonna like it either way. They're not gonna like it either way. <laughs> the attack went up? I don't know, they play with the numbers sometimes. I notice in this one too. If they're, if they're countries on the map, like if the enemy's country on the map has two castles that are touching each other, but let's say you got Fado, uh, or no, maybe something closer, like you've got, um, you've got Carnaboon, like let's say Leoness has Carnaboon and they've got Hadrian, they'll move their monsters through enemy territory just because the color is touching. But they'll leave the knights there. Like they're not technically moving knights, but they can move they can move the monsters wherever they want. I've noticed that in this game in particular, and this older one. Try catching again, but it kept failing. Yeah. Trey Lance, and it will give you a talus. <laughs> you I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Big Maddie, I don't think that's gonna happen, dude. I don't think that's a thing. Weakness. Ah, that won't work with Holy Word, though. If Weakness could work with Holy Word, that'd be something, but... It's not gonna work like that. So, 24... 29... 18... I will go first... for you. So, do you have an extra Holy Word? I could do... We'll do a triple holy word here, and we'll leave the other holy word for last. Trip holy word. gonna kill some of his stuff and run the hell away <laughs> what's your favorite AO spiel except Meteor Doom of course probably Geno Thunder probably Geno Thunder if not then it's Holy Word I suppose I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite I like to play the tactical way and just go with what works best you know at the moment so 
it's always situational, really. I would say it's more situational for me. But Geno Thunder is definitely the top, probably one of my top favorites because I love, you know, giving people thunderbolts and singing uh, ACDC's Thunderstruck. That's that's one of my favorite things to do. Not enough Holy Word. No, nope, maybe not, man. All right, I don't want a direct attack on him because I don't want him stoning me for any reason because I don't have... I mean, I might have a cleanse here. I think I have a cleanse. I do, I do. But I don't want to have to use it, so... I'm going to bat attack him like like crazy. I'm going to be silly about it. I got to save up for a, for a rebirth, though. Because I need to bring back some stuff so I can kill him a little bit more efficiently. <laughs> Might bring this thing back and then send the rock flying in there and Crybird. Maybe we'll pop. Well, wait. If Kai has power, which I don't think Kai has power, I don't remember. I don't think they do. No, they don't give Kai. If they gave Kai power, holy cow! How many power spells you could get out of that? Probably six. Okay, we're going toe to toe today. We're going toe to toe today. He stones the, the scorpion, it's okay now, but... That's the reason why people came up with the word overpowered. Because it came from this game. At least that's how I believe. I think it had to come from this game. Because this is where power really shines. I mean, everybody knows that when you play Brigandine. If something's powered up, you better watch out. It's going to murder you. Flat out murder you. You know, I've, I've done this with Thor's. I put a power spell. I'm going to show you later on at some point. But I put a power, and I've done this with some of my old LPs. Put power on Thor. Did the ground smash? Did a react on him? Kador and Gish. Almost every monster and everything died in one turn. I do like 400 points of damage easily on anything that can't fly. Just 400 points of damage. Boom. It is so devastating, especially if you've got a powerful Thor. It is so good. Oh, please don't. Oh, no. Well, at least it's these guys. It's these guys, and he's not something else. I want to see how, how uh, difficult it's going to be for uh, for Lance to come in here. Because if I'm not killing Zemeckis, then Zemeckis is going to be waiting on the castle for them, too. You know? You're backing up? <laughs> okay. Dude's backing up. That's like 400 plus damage easy. That's why I assign just flying creatures to whatever leader is assigned to Thor. <laughs> That's what I've done too. I give, um, in a, the, one of the best ways to level up a Thor is give it a Seraph, so you can give it a Halo. Or if you have a Lucifer with it, it can do, it can give it the power spell, stand right next to it. Then later you could do a Holy Word. You can react with, uh, I think the pick, I think a pixie only takes one point of damage because it's floating. So it doesn't do any, it doesn't really do much damage. Or maybe it, usually it has to be high flight. No, 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 you'll kill off your pixies. You'll kill off your fairies, I think. Because it's a lot of damage. No, I can't remember now, but I think you do kill off your fairies with it. You know what, this is just so much easier. We just do a line sweep and then I can move my guys up. This is a lot easier this way. Get, solve two problems at once, right away. <laughs> this is why I like dealing with five levels of mage. Yeah, yeah dude, yeah. Just when I started the challenge I was leading with him and I didn't have, I didn't have any other good knights to, to lead with. You know, that could tank as well as he could. But that is definitely a good option. The only problem with that is, is, I mean, it's not a problem of getting power. But the problem is you don't, you might not level up your strength as, as much as, um, as you could, you know? That's the only thing. Oh, you know what? I've got a great idea. Okay, so I, I could Holy Word. It won't do too much damage. I could, uh... Thinking I want a bite. I want to take a bite out of him. 
and then do a holy word and then reposition Kai. I think I want to do that because he's still at full health. Mm, I don't know if that's right. Yikes. You know, they got the dragon there. A little scary. Alright, well, I'm just gonna try, have to try to heal something up here. I don't want him killing up my scorpion right now. Mmm, well, I did a lot to the quaddle though. We gotta probably heal that thing up. It's gonna take a lot of magic damage as we go along here. Flying creature is one low flying creature would die. Yeah, yeah, that's why I remember. I think I had to have a couple of them. I had to have a few spares, a few spare fairies, because they would pretty much die. <laughs> pretty much just, just go. Save trigger. Should I save it now? Maybe I should. It's not a bad idea. Ah, sorry about that. The alert didn't, uh... Why is the alert on the bottom? Well, thanks. Um... <laughs> thanks for the subscribe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a subscribe. But the alert box was not at the top. I'm wondering why that is down below. It was underneath the game, but it was there. Everybody heard the, the notification for it, though. So thanks for the subscribe. I'll have to look and see what, what happened here. Look at all this stuff in the way. At least I think it was. Well, if you subscribe or follow, please let me know because I got all this stuff in the way and then somehow the alert box is underneath the game. I don't even know why that was there, but thank you so much. Thank you for that. Welcome to the channel. Priests are bad melee units. Melee units make good priests. Isn't that interesting, you know? It's so interesting. Alright, so, I have an idea. Now, I could breath attack over here. That would actually get me uh, closer to killing this thing. But I'd also like to kill off the Fenrir. Mm, I don't know what's the best call. I really can't hit anybody from this approach. I'm gonna have to move move up. We got an extra react spell. I guess I had that for a while though. Jude De La Cruz. We're gonna download the emulator and bring it in. Ah, uh, well, I've got a video for that. There's a link in uh, YouTube you can check out for all that stuff. So you can get an emulator uh, where I describe it and uh, the game itself is in the website. Uh, so all that stuff's down below. You can check out the uh, stuff on YouTube and uh, check it out. But thank you so much for uh, jumping in here. This is the final LP for, for um, Give me the site, please. It's it's just look down below on YouTube, and it's there. It's uh, brigandine.engine.com. That's that's what it is. But you can look down below, and you'll see the link. I and follow everything for it. Zada. So 
yeah, the, uh, I don't know what's going on, but the alert box isn't working. But thank you, any so much for the uh, follow on uh, Twitch, too. I have to, like, re redo this. I think the alert box must have... Something happened with the... Something happened with uh, Streamlabs. It's not my problem. It's, they did something there. But uh, thanks so much for the follow, anyways. Goodbye, Machismo. Goodbye. Alright, we'll save it up. In case something happens, we'll get right back here. You don't have to worry about anything. Oh boy, I want to put him in the front lines. I'm just worried there's a holy word. That thing could maybe try to divine ray me. Acid breath. And a Zemeca shot. That's a scary thought. Uh, might have to wait right here. Let's just do a heal. Let's just uh, chill out a second here. Just here, here to kill monsters anyways. But yeah, thanks so much for being here, uh, Jude. How's it going? How's your day? You know what? This isn't bad. Do this. So, yep. Yep, if you want to do the game as I do, check out the link down below. You'll get to see it there. And uh, it'll send you to a video where I explain how to... You basically have to like register the site, get in there, and then you can get the game. You can also talk with other players too. So it's a two for one. You get to go into like a website that's not going to fail and we'll be there for people in the future that we'll be able to see and talk and you know talk about the game. And so there are people there that do talk about the game still, surprisingly, you know, after 20 years. Uh, I think this last year was the last year was the 20th anniversary of this game from being out. So uh, yeah, last year was like the 20th 20th year anniversary of Brigandine Legend of Forcina. I think it came out in 98 or was it 97? I think it was 98. Maybe it was 97. But I think last year was the anniversary for it. I'm trying to remember, but for um, Grand Edition, the anniversary will be next year. That was 2000. I know Grand Edition was 2000. A year after Tactics. I thought it was about the same time because I thought I got... Well, I may, maybe I waited to get Tactics then. I, but I know when I when I went to the store, I went to Best Buy and I picked up Brigandine and Final Fantasy Tactics at the same time. I was like, two tactical games? Two chess-like tactical games in the same row? No way. I gotta get this. I gotta get it. And I got both Tactics and Brigandine at the... pretty much the same time. So yeah, that's when I got those games. She might be okay here, although I will suffer a Acid Breath. But I could change that. Nope, I won't. Yep, I gotta move here. That thing still has hit points. Ah, whatever. Shoot down the dragon. Then we can actually move her up a little bit. The golden years. Yeah, golden years of games. Ah, oh, man. There are some new games now that I really do enjoy. But some games that come out, I... I, I bought a few games uh, recently. And one, I have to like learn how to play it. You know, because it's very complex. It's like a grand strategy, global kind of game. It's, uh, I think it's Hearts of Iron. And I played it for a while. I got everything set up. I got my border set up. I got 
stuff set up to fight. And I'm like, when am I going to go to war? You know, apparently I'm signing contracts for both sides. I'm just supposed to sign contracts for one side, apparently. And, uh, yeah, I kind of messed it up <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> this might hurt. But yeah, some, some of these new games I got out, and this other one I, I got for free, I got to play this game called Grim Shade, which is really fun to start. Then as it gets going, it just frustrated the hell out of me because this one particular fight, I'm like, I don't know how you get past this. Like, I could get past it, but most of my characters have to die. The first time I played it, the first time I fought it, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna die anyways. I'm just gonna go, like, balls to the wall and keep attacking a dude, see if I can beat him. And I got him close to death, but then he, like, puts on an extra shield, and I'm like, ah, damn it. <laughs> Some games that people try to make and they develop now just have this... a bit... this bit of ridiculousness about them that it's like... How are you supposed to do this? I'd have to sit there for, like, hours trying to figure out just to fight one guy. One fight. When it's just so complex. I miss this. I really do. Uh, should I go there? I'm not really getting much here. There's not much that I can get from her being here. I get more over here. It does give more options. Well, there's the forest in the way. The forest will probably slow them down a bit. Hopefully. I'm thinking it will. 72? Holy Word to do a set. Uh, Holy Word might do 72. He's only level 11. Because I wanted to move up here and bite one of these two. You know, I could move up, bite, be set up for the next turn. Well, that does keep Kai from being able to do anything. Oh boy, alright. Well, let's see what a Holy Word will reach. It's not bad. Could definitely give it a try. It will hit a lot of stuff, so... But there is more to come. There is more to come. Let's just take a bite. We'll save the Holy Word. Save the Holy Word for later. When they finally bring more stuff. Kai needs to do something, otherwise he's sitting there doing nothing the whole time. I'm gonna check out the battle for Wens... Westnoth. Still waiting to check out battle for Wens... Westnoth. Yeah. No, I... <laughs> I don't even... I'm gonna be trying uh, a new game uh, tomorrow that I got uh, suggested. And, uh... Pretty much flat out given to me. I'm gonna try it out. It's Bombout Lagoon try that out tomorrow night so that'll be tomorrow night uh, so I'll play that a little bit Saturdays if I don't if we don't do Brigadine on Saturdays and Saturday is gonna be just a special night it'll just be random I might try that out you know I might try out a different game it's just gonna be like a like a special Saturday whatever whatever I feel like playing it'll just go up on Saturdays should I move for Holy Word you know what? I actually should move over here should attack you. You'll run away. And nothing else will go there, and I got a good, better holy word thing. Try one with the gun spinning, but uh, it really confused me, so did. Never ending up getting into it. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot, though, because uh, I think Altison uh, dropped it off. Game like Battle Brothers and Brigadine. Okay, yeah. I'll have to. Um, here, type it out in Discord. Put it in the game suggestions in Discord, okay? Game suggestion spot. Type it out in there, then, it's, then I can remember it. Otherwise, if, if it's just here, sometimes I, sometimes I forget here, because, you know, these are hours long of videos, and uh, I don't always go back and rewatch my, my own video, because I've got, you know... I've got, like, over 800 videos on YouTube, apparently. Seven or eight hundred videos on YouTube, and plus my other channel. I don't know. Maybe more than that. <laughs> but I'll definitely try... Battle for Westnoth. I'll try to remember that. But if you want to, please put it in Discord in the suggestion box. In the uh, suggestion part. 
All the strategy hex gridding RPGs. Yeah, I, I focus on that a lot. You know, I play, I've been still playing Battle Brothers. I'm still grinding. Battle Brothers, my guys, my dudes are super high. I've got bone plating for most of my stuff. I want to get the, um, the, the cool, you know, white fur coating for my archers instead of bone plating. I'm thinking that's probably going to be better. Because mostly when you're using um, crossbows and arrows, that's armor piercing anyways. So the bone plating doesn't help you with that. Even... Oh, hey, thanks. Thanks. Well, the suggestion is really for me. <laughs> so it's, so that that box is all... Like, I'm always going to see that. Um, so I do go on there and I check it. But uh, thank you so much, Sayusu. We'll, we'll definitely check that out. But uh, tomorrow we're going to try out Bomb Lagoon Laguna bit. I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to do any serious LPs on Saturdays. It's just going to be like, I'm checking this game out. I'm just playing it for the day. And uh, we'll just like, it'll just be kind of like a random thing, you know? But, um... All right. Whoa, that's level 10. You never even got to class it yet. Oh, that sucks to be you. Can we get Big Maddie up a little bit higher? Level 19, 980. But I don't know. There's a about that. Uh, no, I don't think that's going to work. I do have another Holy Word, though. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Can we bring back from the grave something cool? Machismo. Ah. Oh. You know what? I can't fly him around into the battle. The only thing I could really fly around and get a lot of work out with would be this rock. You know, we're gonna... Aw, uh, you know what? If I put him in the mountains, is he gonna get out? That's the thing. Here's the thing. Speaking of what happened during that really nasty ghost and undead fight, I had to leave near... Oh, I won it. By the skin of my teeth, I had to fight 20 monsters, 4 ghosts, I had 5% chance to hit them, and I killed them with whips and arrows. <laughs> as soon as you hit it once, it just dissipates. It's like, it's like how, if you, I don't know if you watch Supernatural, but you know, if you watch Supernatural, it kind of, uh, you have to, and, and there's other theories on this too, you hit a ghost with iron, with metal, and it just... It can't exist anymore, you know? I'm gonna put this guy in the mountains and see if he can fly out of here. I'm pretty sure he can. He's only one in. If I put him two in, then it might be different. Fenrir would get a buttload. Oh, yeah, it would. You know, technically that might have been a better choice because then I could have flame attacked up there, but I want to be able to fly around in, like, Crybird soon. That's not a bad idea. That's 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 almost a fantastic idea. Fortunately here you can't attack immediately. Grand addition you can attack immediately as soon as you bring him back. <laughs> Set 7, what's good? Hey, how's it going Set 7? It's been like a long ass time since I've seen you say something here. How's it going, man? We're going to try to knock out this gin with a big punch, big Maddie punch. Could happen. As long as I get a good crit here. Nah, it's not much of a crit. It's not even a crit. Yeah, you're doing tonight, set seven. Everybody named C, please talk. <laughs> oh man. I keep imagining I'm going to get a subscriber or follower named Kai. I just keep imagining that. I feel like it's going to happen. At some point, it's going to happen. There's going to be a person in here named Kai. Because when I played uh, Chrono Trigger, I had a person that named themselves Lavos that would come and chat with me. And he'd, he'd act like Lavos as I was playing Chrono Trigger characters. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> So Lavos was there for, for pretty much all Chrono Trigger stuff I did. Trying to wake up? Yeah. 
Yeah, Set7, this is it. This is the finale. I'm gonna be on uh, Twitch for the foreseeable future after after all this. I got no way to hit this guy. He's gonna bomb me somewhere. He's gonna bomb somebody. I could try attacking him, but he's just gonna probably evade that. I could hit the giant. What if we get I think if we get a crit with with Big Matt. Which this maybe work. I think this could work. Oh! Big Matty! Boom! 900. 900 XP. I'm probably gonna get like 400 maybe? 300? That's a good jump. Okay, what do I got two that's over there? Do I have anything over there with two? Not really. Alright, Trigger, you are kind of burnt out a little bit, buddy. Dinadan can do this, though. So, yeah, we're finishing off this LP tonight, and uh, then tomorrow is going to be Balma Lagoon. Play that on Saturday nights. Well, we're, I mean, I'm going to play random games on Saturday nights, but tomorrow is going to be Balma Lagoon. So, that was a suggestion I got, I think, from Altison. And so, if you've got a suggestion, put it in the suggestion box. I will... I have time now to do that for Saturday, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You know, Saturdays will be like a random day. Uh, Age of Mythology, I'm just kind of taking a break right now from that. I've been playing that like every... Every single Saturday for the longest time. And I just want to like try something new, you know, put, plug something new in there. And Brigadine I've done for like such a long time that I'm gonna keep trucking away with something with Brigadine or... Fridays, uh... If we get a way to the multiplayer, I'll fill Fridays in with something. I might do Age of Mythology. I might do something else. I don't know, but I'd like to... I'd like to keep certain games on certain days. That way I just... It's just easy for me to know what I'm like gearing up to do. So Fridays, maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do some Battle Brothers. I'm putting a lot of work into that. Maybe I'll do that on Fridays or something. I have to think about it. Punchies must have more punchies. <laughs> no problem, Big Maddie, no problem. So Zemeckis is burnt out with his stuff. He could shoot. She... I don't think she can do a Holy Word now. Nope, she can't do Holy Word. I don't have to worry about that. There is a Divine Ray possibility. There is... Well... Not if I kill it, there isn't. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm liking this. Sacrifice! I'll try to kill this Hydra off so I can place Kai there. Might happen. It might happen. We'll see. Kai is going, Cortina will go, I think, shortly afterwards. 17, yeah, she, she should be able to go soon. Uh, you know, you're going to stay as a healer for now, bro. Ooh, that's, uh, that's getting low. Let's heal up the dragon. We're going to do a little nom nom on him. And we're going to shoot a breath attack over there. Knock out these monsters. So yeah, Wednesday nights are going to be Wanzer nights. Friday nights is going to be some kind of tactical Brigandine-esque type of game. Saturdays, I'm just going to kind of do random whatever. I might do some Ao, Ao, uh, Age of Mythology too. Uh, but I, I want to like explore some other things here too you know some people give me game suggestions and then i'm wondering when am i going to be able to fit that in you know and i could try streaming every night but that would probably burn me out so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this i don't think i could stream every night i don't think i can i'm just uh <sighs> I don't know if I have the energy for that. 
I've tried streaming like more nights, like about five nights before. Then I just get like tired, just really tired. Cause if I didn't have, like if I had an office and I didn't have to set anything up, I could just click my fingers. Wands days, yes. Wands are hump day. That's what I was, th what I was thinking about calling Wands are hump day. Ooh, we're gonna do a line drive here. Photon beam. Now we got the Hydra out of the way. I don't need to worry about breath attacks. I can move Kai in there. I can take a shot, but I don't think there's much else that's gonna hit me. Zemeckis could hit me. Hopefully he doesn't kill Kai. <laughs> I hope he doesn't. Oh, so close. Come on. That... Oh. Why? Why? Just Geno Thunder them right now, probably. That might do it. I don't care about him, really. You know what? <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. Never mind. You're not going to get the chance to hit Kai. <laughs> we're just going to... We're just going to snipe you from here. Wands or Wednesday, Wands days? I don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I think... I think Wands or Hump Days is probably what I like. Aw, oh, man! Might want to heal up. <laughs> you might want to heal a little bit. I did a lot of damage there. <laughs> it might hurt. Wands or Wednesdays, Mech Warrior, Mech Warrior Day. Mechwanzer day. Giving all your punches away, dude. What are you talking about? There's plenty of things to punch up there, man. You, you don't know what you're talking about, Big Maddie. You've got plenty of things to punch. All over the place. They're everywhere. They're surrounding me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. I gotta get her a kill. Holy word. Ooh, that does hit a good amount. That is nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This will work. Oh, wait a second. I want her to get that kill. You know what? She'll get a frost kill here. That'll be fine. She'll get the frost kill. That should work. Got plenty of things to work with, Big Maddie. Plenty of things. It could work. I think a frost will work on that thing. Has no intelligence. It has no intelligence, so probably probably work but you know what just to guarantee well there's a giant there let's see we're gonna at least get him up to a but we're gonna get him up to a bronze at least for this LP it's at least a bronze 679 I could definitely get a kill on Esmeri with him and that should probably do it but let's do some poison breath because we never get to see that in Grand Edition and I kind of miss it. I kind of miss it. I know it's not going to poison him, but softening him up for a frost spell. <laughs> he has a good chance of hitting him. I think he can hit Esmeri. There's there's a dragon, a giant up there. Esmeri. There's dragon over there. We got our options, dude. We got our options here. Got some options. We're just gonna slaughter and massacre his team back away. Watch Carleon go in there for the win. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy the night. Enjoy the night. Speaking of which, I have no beer here. I need to go grab one. It's about that time. 
So wait, so she's going, she's 17. You know, this could be a good kill for him. He's level 30. 17, that's under 13. Can you heal from there? Nope. Can't. Two, but you could pull him away. You could try and hide him from me, which I would not like. So, I'm going to do instead. Let's do this. <laughs> Weaken her up a little bit. Not too bad. Alright, when it's their turn to go, then I'm gonna go grab something out of the fridge here. Ah. Divine Ray! Not my gin! Not on the hair of my Jinny Jin Jin! Come on, man, don't kill my gin off. Can get out. Perfect. 150 something. Ooh. They're trying to escape, Big Maddie. It's trying to escape. It's not going to, though. But I'd rather send you up here because you're a little bit closer this way. Weaken this dude up. Get a big punchy on this on this giant. Be on this side here. It's in the rock and behind him. Whoa, that did way more than I thought. Holy cow. I just thought it was going to be like supplementary. Oh, you got no heals left? Oh, man. A level 9 kill. A level 9 kill, Big Maddie. This ought to do it. <laughs> I love how you gotta kind of wait. 576. 103. 103. Alright. That dragon's still pretty high. You know, this angel's gotta get lowered by a lot. And I'm a black attack, so this should work. Should probably work pretty good. I think the mechanics on Necro Rebirth monsters are a little wonky. I think in Grand Edition it's even wonkier. Because you might attack with the color that you came with, but your defense is black. Or you attack with your... I, I can't remember how that always goes. Red on red. Am I pretty high up still? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Well, this attack here wouldn't hurt, but I'm right next to Zemeckis here. Which, there is a breath attack and possible bombing. I don't want a bombing mission on me. Okay, D's gonna go here, drain this guy a little bit. Giant punchies. Getting giant punchy kills. I'm gonna focus them down some... High level stuff, get some kills. We're gonna get a bronze gum after this. We will get the bronze gum. At least we'll get that done, you know. That's closer than I was expecting, <laughs> considering all the monsters I had to level up too, you know. Way closer. Okay, so, uh. I'm gonna be doing a red attack on a red. That's. That's only level one. I might as well just finish him off, get him out of the way. Get the Seraphim somewhere else. 
Probably send Big Man to go punch the other dragon up there, unless he's ripe for the kill. I really like this bear. Uh, oh, that's not even in the mountain anyways. I thought that was. It is kind of in the mountain, though. Alright, so... Got a full up dragon here. Uh, you got nothing left. You are running on E, sir. He's got no bombs. This thing's only got breath attacks. Nemesis! Oh, nice. Two, two, two. Those are my magic numbers for tonight. It bugs out monster attacks and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going. I don't know. Something's weird with the coding on Neck Rebirth. Uh, what are you doing, dude? Oh, he wants to kill something. Zemeckis always wants to kill something. He doesn't want to like, you know, give anybody kills. He tries to kill everything. He's like, I could kill that. Doom, doom, doom. You see, I could imagine him, like, being born with a crossbow in his hand. You know? Or not not in his hand, but as his hand. Zemeckis' hand is the crossbow. He was just born for war. The Devil versus D. Which one will win? We will find out tonight! I think in a straight-up, head-up match, I think... D would beat the dragon. Just solo him. I don't think I'd need anything else. Just he could probably solo it by himself. Coming in. You have enough for a bomb, but we do have to heal up Big Manny. I can't have him dying on me now because we're gonna be leaving to level him up. So if he dies, well, then we can't level him. Someone's gotta heal him up. I'm not having Kai do it. Uh, should I bite? Yeah. I kind of want to finish the angel off. That's that's going to be a problem if I let that thing go. Finish off the angel. Go after that dragon. Good stuff, good stuff. Read the rock. Read the rock's abilities. From the dead end. Read the rock's abilities. Tail whip. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's kind of weird, eh? All right, so that's level seven. That is a level seven. Um, I think we're gonna go over and smite him. We're gonna smite this dragon as much as we can. Yeah, it's pretty weird, eh? That's pretty weird. Tail Whip, it's a black attack. You know, it's not the claw attack. I think when they went Necro Rebirth, they're like, do we have to recode all this again? I don't want to do that. Let's just make the flying guy's tail whip. Let's make the this, that, and then just, just end it. I think they got a little lazy there. I don't know if, I like, it could technically be buggy, but I think they just got lazy. Yeah, Rock uses Tail Whip. 
I think they were just lazy at that point. They're like, you know, we've just put in so much work. Can we just be done? No! And their boss had a whip. He's like cracking the whip on their backs. He's like, you're going, you're going to work. You're making sure you do this right. And then he, you know, he went off. Uh, it was the weekend and and they're like, you know what, guys, let's just, let's just, uh, you know, put tail whip on, on these creatures and just, just do it like that. Nobody's going to know. Nobody will know. And nobody ever did know until now, you know. They sent the game out. Nobody asked any questions. Like, are we done? Yeah, good to go, good to go. Let's <laughs> mess with the animation or anything. That's the way, or just the status screen. It's just the, uh, it's just the stats here. Because it's supposed to be the claw attack, but it's tail whip. Click again, it just says tail whip, and then, and then you click again, it doesn't say anything. You know, there's there's nothing to it. I click here. Show me a, a name, it'll show me stats and such. Grand Edition, I think it does show a little bit more, but... Every monster has the wrong attacks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They got the the the, the um the guys that were working on this game. They just got lazy. Because they're like, do we have to do this all over again? Like, every Necro Rebirth monster, the, the, the coder was like, every Necro Rebirth monster, we have to, like, literally type this out again? No, I'm just putting tail whipping for these creatures. That's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Goms gets the Scorp attack. They just got lazy. It's not... I don't think it's a bug. I think they were just lazy. I think that's all there is to it. One, two, three. Okay, I gotta have something block her. I could have her stand there, but she could end up dying, which I'm a little worried about. Um... You know, we're going to send this one out. Do this attack. And then she's going to move forward just a little bit. And hope we don't... She doesn't die. Because her and Zemeckis, they've had words. And, uh... You know, they, she, uh... She said some nasty things to him. And uh, he's not happy about that. So he might just shoot her, you know, critical crossbow or attack her, which I'm a little worried about. But I do want her, like, here so I can, you know, freeze that dragon a little bit. Where are you going, Esmeri? We were just having fun over here. What's going on? Come on. That's not cool. G monsters get their own neat portrait. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty It's pretty nice. There's a lot of reasons why I like Grand Edition a little more, but I miss this right here. I miss these animations. I wish you had the animations in there because I, I love looking at a ball mod. One of my favorite things to look at in the animation sequence is, is the ball mod right there. I like the Fafnir more for some stats and such, but I love looking at the ball mod, you know? Okay, we're gonna move right up here. Ooh, cross splits. This could work. This could work. This might work. What do you think? Oh! Angel! You could have easily taken out 88. You were. You're a high. Ah, it's an arc. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, whatever. Didn't do it. Almost. 10 hit points. 10 HP. Alright, 200 up. What are you gonna do? Terra Jaw? Yep, I think we lost an arc. Oh well. I have a Seraph, I have another one. They removed the full battle animations. I know, that's one thing that... This is one of my favorite things. I know that, you know, you look at new games now and you're like... When you come here and you look at this, you're like, wow, this is like... This is like watching Final Fantasy VII. You know? But, you know, newer newer game graphics compared... But when you were when you were younger and you watched this... And, uh, I just... that That's why there's been such a huge cult following. That's why 
you know, I built that website again. Because it's like, geez. Gotta have that back. Okay, I think a D attack and a big Maddie attack will, uh, you know, run a train right through this dragon here. It always amazed me as a kid was the scale of the monsters. You see stuff like dragons and columns and stuff, and they're so huge, but when you keep finding bigger and bigger ones like rocks and flying dragons, it was amazing. And yeah, I mean, just seeing the size of the Balmont versus a regular knight, you know, going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, it's always fun. Okay, we got this guy down. I think Big Maddie's gonna be good against this dragon here. I think we'll get definitely get the the points we need here. We'll knock out this dragon with this Seraph. Easy peasy. A double dose of Nemesis! Check that out! Never knew it hit him. I really like the look of the Lilith in here, though. And I wish I would have had that. I didn't get it this time. I really like that look. Come on, you can do it, Big Maddie. You can do it. 129. I've got faith in you. You can do this. You can push through. All the way through with that punch. All the way through. You push past the target you're going to hit. You don't push... As soon as you touch it, you push past it just like that. Good. We got some punchies there. 720. Level 20. There we go. We did it. We did it, everybody. We did something right. And I'm going to heal on this castle just a little bit. So I think we... I think we killed off... If we kill all the monsters, we're going to back out and watch uh, and watch the ending here. If they do, do the the fight. If they don't do it for like five or six turns, then I might go in there. But if they go in there, we're going to watch them like crush everything here. But we could leave you with a ghoul, I suppose. You know, we'll try to stone Zemeckis. This will make this a little more fun if we do this. I don't know if you can stone as a Necro Rebirth rock in this version. I think you might be able to, though. Oh, no stone. You gonna craft from the heaven with... No? Not a super crit? Okay. That's fine. I leveled it up! Okay, so if I leave now... I'll be taking two. Which is okay. Get one more attack with trigger here. One final attack for the LP for the scorpions. For the scorpions, for all the scorpions out there. This is for you. And me too. So, there you go. Try to kill it with something else though. Maybe Big Maddie will take that out too. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we can go with that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't don't you don't you kill her, please. Please don't kill her. Please don't kill her. No, don't kill her! Oh no. Oh my gosh. 343. She almost died. She almost died. She almost died. That would have been. If he was a little more powerful, or if she was just like a lower level Cortina, that would literally have been a one shot. Or if he would have put a power spell on himself, if he would have powered himself up with that, she would be gone. Just, I can guarantee that. He'd do like 600 points of damage. He'd be gone. I guess Zemeckis gets the last laugh here because she took a beating real fast and she can't. She can't hold up with that. It's, should I kill him off just for fun? Or leave him with a ghoul? You know, let's leave him with a ghoul so I got something to fight with. 
<laughs> You'll get, you guys will have something to fight with when you go to fight Omega. You get one ghoul. <laughs> That's all you get. No protect spells. I got nothing left with that. All right, Sayonara and Zemeckis. It's a good fight, man. Run away! <laughs> run away! He's gonna run away. You know what? I'm gonna leave you with a uh, a nice farewell present, dude. Soliel. One one last farewell present. And we'll watch Omekia come in here and just slaughter you. <laughs> Boom goes a dynamite. Oh, there's a knight among you! And he's so cool. His name's Janfriter. And everybody was happy he gained some MP. How many guys did I have on quest still? Wing shoes! Oh, this would have helped me so much! That would have helped me so much! I could fly everywhere! I could have flown everywhere if I would have just had those freaking boots. The wing boots. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save it up real quick in case... Whatever happens, I just want to make sure I got it nice and ready. If they don't fight at all, then I'm going to have to go in and take it out, but they, they still won't have much left for a final showdown. If they don't, if Nuomechia does nothing, then I will do it. I will I will finish this off. Oh, you got two monsters? Where was the other one? You had a dragon? You weren't... Well, okay. Okay, he's basically down to nothing there. Organize. Let's class up a Talus. Of which, just move one dude out of the way. Not a Talus, what I mean. Bronze. Why am I saying Talus? Guess I'm being hopeful there. Hopeful. Yeah, it's not accurate. Bronze Gum. Big Maddie, you got up to Bronze Gum. Here, we at least did that. We at least did that. I hope you're happy with that. I hope you're happy with at least that. Made some progress on this. Made some progress. And that's pretty good. He has decent agility. I gave him an agility potion. And now he's at 47, which isn't terrible. It's probably good for a golem. I mean, uh... You know, we look at regular golems here and just... Agility suck. That, like, if they just had more agility, I could, you know, they could hit more. But you could see most of these golems are, like, starting with 34 agility. It's basically, like... You, you might as well just put like a big clown nose and makeup on these things because that's what I think of them every time I'm sending them into battle. It's just like, they're just there for looks and for fun to, to make you laugh at yourself, laugh at uh, the enemy, whoever has them, you know, that that's, um, that's what I think about it. Okay, we're gonna wait and <laughs> see if Nilmeki attacks them. Immediately! No way! Battle of Fado. They immediately attacked them. They're like, screw this. We're going in. Well, you got more monsters? Hello, Garrett. It's been a long time. Are you a better fighter now? Master Escalados, why are you at Zemeckis? You may not understand this, but I need an answer. What kind of meaning did the sword have in my life? For what purpose did I attain the title of Master? That night, when I killed a man, I was carried away by impulse. I saw the answer in the screams and blood that surrounded me. This is why I decided to support Zemeckis. My desires can only be attained through my contribution of war. When I find the answer during the war, my sword will reach its peak. You know that there is no answer for what you are searching for. Please come to your senses, I don't want to fight you. Did you say you don't want to fight me? Don't lie to me, Garen. I know your sword is trembling with joy for an opportunity to fight your master. 
Come on, Garrett, defeat me for what you believe in. Be a better swordsman than me. This is not the way I wanted to fight you. However, I must kill you to show my loyalty and return gratitude to my lord. Wish Goms had either a little more agility or a little more defense HP. I would say probably if they're not going to give them agility because it seems like, you know, that's the way they go. More defense. I'd say maybe be a little more defensive, kind of like a scorpion. Maybe like a... Well, because they get, you know, higher rune costs, so they might as well be more defensible than a scorpion. Because it's a big, you know, piece of clay or stone or bronze or steel, whatever, you know, class level you're in, you might as well have more defense than a scorpion. I would say defense, though, Dragoon. I'd definitely go, say, more defense. I'm going to be known as the fastest golem in for Steam. <laughs> if he had that of agility. But the thing is, like, you got to, if you want to level up a Talus well, you got to give him agility potions. And it sucks because you want to give it to your knights, you know, where it really matters. You know, your knights, like, you get a knight with, like, 120 agility, you know, and you play this game, you can kiss, you know, hits goodbye. They're, they're not going to happen to you. It's just not gonna happen to you. They're like, like that's that's the reason why people in a passage like fate would talk about Ninja Master so much. They're like, nobody can hit me. I can stand in a forest, my Ninja Master, and kill everybody because nobody's gonna hit me. And it's like, somewhat true. It's somewhat true. Grand Edition, they took that away because they're like, you know what? If you could just run away from the castle or just have such a high agility that nobody can hit you, we're gonna give the uh, the surround tactic to increase 50% attack mode for whoever's attacking you so if somebody's attacking you with like 40 percent but then you go to surround a guy in grand edition it's increased by 50 so now you got 90 percent chance to hit so i think that's a, the, the developers they did take their time to build the mp they really did you know and surprisingly it, it really didn't take off because they never got it out to america i don't know how well it did in japan i'd love to know from some japanese players how well it like did over there you know, to see, but I rarely talk to Japanese people talking about this game. It's very, very rare. You'll ever be doing this, yeah. Something my parents always taught me to do for monsters. Your parents always taught you for monsters was to buy as many as you can and weed out the weaklings. Min maxing is kind of what I do. I, if I have the money, I'll buy like a bunch of dragons or golems or whatever. I'll take the ones with the highest agility. You can go for strength if you want, but I go for agility because this game, it's all about uh, the strong survive. And if you get the hit, you get the experience. If you don't get the hit, you don't get the experience. You don't level up. You might get the group level up, but you don't level up fast enough. You can't. If you can't hit something, well, you're kind of worthless in this game. <laughs> There's other games, though, like... Like, even in Battle Brothers, like, I've, I'm leveling up uh, my, um, I leveled up an archer, I leveled up a crossbow, Got my crossbow guy is so dangerous. I got him this goblin crossbow that literally does knockback. So when I hit him with the bow, it hurts him, it penetrates their armor, hits their hit points, and pushes them back. And if they're on the edge of a tile, they'll fall down too. It's like that powerful. And, uh, my archer is pretty good now. Now I'm leveling up a throwing axe guy. There's battles he doesn't hit anything, because he's only got, you know, he's still growing. You know, he's not like the best archer, but his stats are great. You know, he, he's got great, great stats. So once I get him up to level 9, I'm going to hit everything, you know, that I'm trying to throw stuff at. But there's, there's times I'll have battles. He might hit something, he might not hit anything. And uh, he still gets experience, though, because the group gets experience. So he gets a good amount of experience still. But here, 200 experience is good, but it's really nothing compared to actually fighting everything in the battle. You really need to fight everything in the battle to get good experience. Hands down. You can get the 200 win, that's great for level 1s, level 2s, but as soon as you get to level 3, level 4, and you're not hitting anything, you might as well just get rid of that monster. I mean, it's just, it's, it's there's some monsters just totally worthless. And so sometimes like I'll buy a bunch of dragons or golems or giants or whatever and I'll be like, ah, oh, weed through them. This one's got the best agility. This one's got the best hit points or strength. You know, depends on what I want them for. If you have the mana to do so, you know. I guess it's called min-maxing, right? 
Isn't it called min-maxing or whatever? Usually go for agility and HP combo. That's a good way to go. That's a good way to go. I go for agility and strength combo more so. But you can go for HP too. I mean, it's really depending upon how you how your playstyle is and how you feel. There isn't really like a a best, you know, overall. Like, there isn't like an ultimate, you have to do it this way. But that's a good way to do it, dude. It's definitely a good way to do it. So, this is actually kind of fun, you know? Just sit back, watch the... Watch my ally... <laughs> help me win the game. I did most of the work. Well, actually, he did a good amount. He took over a good amount of the a portion of the country, which he saw. Like, he got Dilworth, he got Cadbury, he got Lagres. They got Lydney all by themselves. I didn't have to help them out with that at all. Not even at all. I, I didn't... I rarely fought the Empire. Uh... I, I did a couple tactical things, but I didn't really do too much of the Empire. It was New Omechia really pushed hard. Which usually you play on hard, New Omechia, they just peter out. This version, Grand Edition, they peter out. They don't... They barely do anything. You gotta come in there and basically hold their hand was you're coming up there to help them out. Like, you gotta go up through Ultra Niorsa and be like, okay, I got you back here, I'll move into Tora, and then you can do this, this, and that. You kind of have to help them out. This time, didn't have to really do much. You know, it could have been a partial matter of Leonia, like, knocking down Norgard. But even that, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. I'm still... It's it's always perplexing, you know? Yeah, it's been maxing. You've seen how many monsters live with... Sub-double-digit HP. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear ya. I hear ya. I hear ya. It's just, it depends on, you know, how you want to play. Sometimes I base it upon, like, my team. Like, do I need it more tanky stuff? Then I might go for HP. Do I need tanky stuff? Not really. I'll go for strength. You know, I'll kind of base it on that. And it's usually literally just, like, one agility point or one strength point off. And that's that's really the, the whole kicker to it. Just like, oh, just that extra agility point. Just that extra strength point. Just that extra whatever. And that sometimes, like, generates the random numbers that kind of helps you get that, get the percentage that you want, you know? Like, help you do what you want in this game, you know? You know what I mean? But I think it's kind of important. Uh, do I have do I do it all the time? Do I have to do it? No. But there are times where I feel like some teams, like, I get going, I get rocking and rolling, and I want to make sure some teams are well set because either they're just sitting on defense and they're going to stay that way, or I'm going to roll out with them, you know, and I've got some extra, um, some extra mana I want to use something for. Then yeah, definitely. It's a great, it's a good call. It's a good call, Sayusu. It really is. I have a good feeling that Neomeki is probably going to get this win here. They got a couple healers there. They've got uh, Garrett there. They have a muted Gish, which is insane. I'm so surprised they even were able to do that. <laughs> they were able to mute Gish. <laughs> Things are looking up. Unless Zemeckis puts a power spell on him, and then shoots Escalados, and Escalados does an Aya Slash, and uh, gets out Garant. That's the only thing I could see them losing to. Ooh, Escalados got 150, counterattack, Katana Blade. And 72. Level 19 Isfis. I I have a I don't know. I mean now Isfis might not, but if anybody's gonna die from New Amekia's team, it's gonna be Isfis. He's gonna get ballsy. He's gonna go and try to land a hit on Zemeckis and he's gonna get power shot in the face. 
That's that's his uh, tragic end, if anything. That's what I can guess. What do you think? Who do you think if New Mecki is going to going to die here? What do you think? Gish is safe. I, d I don't think... Well, Gish isn't safe, but I mean, like, New Mecki is safe from Gish because of that mute on him, but I think it can wear off. I'm just not sure when it will. Old King Cole? Gonna have to move, buddy. They have so many unicorns. They're so well set, too. Oh my gosh, Escalados. Good night, dude. Good night, Escalados. One nineteen. Can we get a critical counterattack, please? No. I want to see the Shadow Moon. Oh, <laughs> Tempest Bone, Ispis. Oh, I might be calling it here. Oh, well, just a basic Tempest Bow, okay. 163. I will be back in a flash. HP. Garrett is hanging on by a thread. Or not Garrett, Escalado is hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Can he survive this? Can he dodge? Can he dodge? They actually have a symbol for 1 HP? He can dodge! <laughs> he can dodge it! He can dodge! Holy cow. Oh my gosh, there's the Shadow Moon! I've been waiting for that to happen. <laughs> With a crit. Dodged a 1 HP death to give a crit Shadow Moon hit. Now that, that is glorious. That's going in the playbooks. Holy cow. 1 HP counter crit. Man. Oh, man. Ninshindo, hey, how you doing? Porn attack. Can't even hit him. He's a one hit point. He's a one hit point. He's going to survive this. He's going to survive this. He's like, that one hit point, I'm going to counter kill everything. Everything. Look at this. He literally counter crit two things in a row with one HP. Dude can survive. Dude is a survivor. You know, he talked some smack to Garrett. He's backing it up. He's like, bring it on, bro. Bring it on. Come up here and, and try to attack me with one HP and see what happens. See what happens. <laughs> he is a god. He is, he is a god of destruction here. 
Can this fist go up there and uh, attack him one on one? Can the dragon hit him, or is this gonna this this just gonna happen again? Doing pretty good. This is the end of the LP in Shindo. Oh, that little fang that was sticking out, cut right to his side, and that was that. Sorry, Escalados, he's done. That was pretty cool, though. He dodged twice, and he killed one with a counter crit. Did two crits. Escalados, you are you are the man. You live up to expectations, though. You really do. You really do. <laughs> Luckiest man alive. Except for that one time the dragon killed him off, finally. <laughs> Dude got so lucky, though. Dude, that, that was the luckiest thing ever. Probably this whole LP, that was the luckiest thing I've ever seen. Dodging two attacks at one HP and then, like, doing a counter crit? Holy cow. Yeah, this is my final LP for this. For this. I got some other stuff I'll be doing. I got some multiplayer that'll be coming up in about a month. So Brigadine multiplayer will be out in about a month. A lot of players have uh, signed up for that. You know? Ah, you have an army. I am the army. <laughs> he do say you so he was an army of one. <laughs> he was an army of one. <laughs> he seriously was an army of one. One HP. <laughs> he held out. He held out surprisingly pretty well. You know? Ah. Oh. Yeah. Alas, it can't last forever. We'll see how long it takes for them to kill Zemeckis, though, because Zemeckis might do this kind of stuff. That is just devastating. It's just devastating. I hate seeing that when I'm on the receiving end. But when I'm watching somebody else, I'm like, that's really cool. <laughs> it's, no way. <laughs> clergy may sound the... Okay. And Zemeckis dodged seven attacks in a row before I lost because of it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's scary going after Zemeckis. It is scary. I could have taken him out because I got Dinadan. I've got enough agility with Dinadan to just slap him around with my sword. Be like, get the f out of here. You dude, I can just kill you all day. You know, but people wanted to see Neomechia knock out Zemeckis, so I'm doing that. So, uh, yeah, this is it. This is the end of it. And then uh, next Friday, I have to figure out what I'm going to do on Friday. I might do some Battle Brothers. I don't know what I want to do. I'll have to think about that. Probably maybe do some Battle Brothers. I'll probably show you how high I've gotten with my team. They're very strong. I don't think they're the best, but, you know. Zemeckis can dodge attacks like nobody's business. But usually Samurai, Shoguns, they, those guys dodge attacks. Okay, that wore off Geno Thunder. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> You're right on you guys. What do you figure uh, Zemi's crit rate is anyways? It's so high. It's insanely high. I mean, when he's done over 400 points of damage, sometimes on average to like big things like Tiamat's, Bahamut's, Ghouls, I've seen him do like so much damage. Probably because he does has the power spell too. You know, if he powers himself up and he does that cross you know lightning bow attack you are done you are just done you know especially if you're a viner holy cow you're toast toast yeah <laughs> yeah i know this game in particular like ninja masters that's why people would like put ninja masters in such a high level like they were they were kind of godly like you've got saraha you know maxed out Put him in a forest, almost no one's gonna hit him. He's just gonna sit there and just counterattack everybody, do his split attack, finish it off. It's it's no joke. Two. <laughs> 42. Heal me before I die. i I don't know. I, I think Zemeckis might just. I don't know if he's he's not gonna one shot Isfis, but he's gonna he's gonna get him. It's gonna be very powerful, very powerful. Agility builds are OP. 
Yeah. It really is. So hope everybody enjoyed so far. If you did, please leave a like on YouTube. That'll help me on YouTube. Although next week and for most of the future, I'm going to be mostly on just Twitch. So if you're on YouTube, definitely come over to Twitch and watch it. I'm going to put most of my stuff. I'm going to have Twitch send it to YouTube. I think there's a way to do it. I have to research this a little bit, but I'm pretty sure there's a way. A purple candied Zemeckis will definitely help out New Mechia, though. So if you, uh, Nintendo, if you want to see more of this, you want to see more of my stuff, come by Twitch. I'm going to be on Twitch because I've been an affiliate for the longest time. I just haven't filled out the paperwork because I'm streaming to two different services and there's like technical difficulties if you do that and somebody says something, you know, things can go wrong. So I'm going to basically just sign all that stuff up, get all that working so I can get like all the stuff Twitch has to offer and, uh, you know, I'll be there, but you'll get the, it won't be live on YouTube, but it'll be there on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be uploaded later. But if you want to see me live and you want to be here and participate in this, jump on the Twitch side. I'll be there. So, uh, I think... Uh, either this Sunday, I might still be on YouTube for the... For the, um... Final Fantasy Tactics that I'm doing with the co-op. But if I'm not, then definitely check me out on Twitch. Okay? Man, if it somehow loses, somehow loses, this just becomes a guardian. <laughs> yeah, if they lose and he becomes a guardian too, Saizu. That would be just the most hysterical thing ever. They're like, you know what? I don't want to take any more damage. Zemeckis, you're the man. I'm out. I'm leaving to get, you know, a guardian. Then I'll come back and then we'll play again. But he's poisoned anyways. They're not going to retreat. It's, it's not... Not the scorpion, you dick! Ah, my save the scorpion fun isn't working. I was hoping it'd work, but you could have shot a leader. What's the point of this? <laughs> what's what's the point of this? You could have shot Isvis in the in the head and knocked him out. What was the purpose of that? I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. I always hate seeing a scorpion die. Sets. We live in a sad world. Well, they try to kill off scorpions like all the time. Very sad world. That didn't really do a lot. I mean, the lizard men, yeah, but. Garen's coming around the side? Nope. Eye slash. Boom! In your face, Zemeckis! In your face! Oh! Can't dodge that, can you? <laughs> Be funny if he dodges this, though. He's got 83 agility. He's got 83 agility, so he's twice the agility that the dragon is. But, can't dodge a dragon attack. This might counter a critical. Zemeckis is gonna go down swinging, that's for sure. Can a pixie do an attack? I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I was wondering, if, is Isfis gonna go in there and wallop him? No? You gonna do a heal? On a unicorn? Really? You could have went in there and done something there, man. I want to see you go in and fight. I want to see you fight, man. What are you doing? Where's the bombs? Where's the big bombs? I want to see bombs drop on Gish. You guys are just so silly. This is this is uh, too silly. Isfis could go and do a punch. Divine Ray. A couple of Gish attacks. That's that. <laughs> They're like, that dragon's not gonna hit. I'm not even gonna send it to fight him. This dragon, though, might hit. 
Okay, Pink Zemeckis, how are you gonna hold up to all this? We'll see. We'll see. Ooh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. This is gonna be at the end of it. Once he's gone. Critical attack, lightning bow. Yep. I called it. He's gonna go down swinging. He's not gonna take that from anybody. Are you gonna divine ray him? You could have divine raid Zemeckis and finished this off right now, dude. Why? You could have attacked him too, and you might have killed him. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> you could have healed, and you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, everything I think could happen does not happen when the AI does their stuff. It's like, Unicorn could have healed because he can't attack, but he doesn't. Unicorn that could attack Zemeckis and maybe counter kick him doesn't. Isfist doesn't go and attack him. Divine Rays don't happen. The King of Critical hits because he hits like no tomorrow. Yeah, Zemeckis and Driss. Both those guys, when they when when you get them low... Oh my gosh, you gotta you gotta be seriously careful. They will they will flat out kill you. They will flat you you just think, nah, I I'm gonna win this. No, they're just gonna flat out kill your ass and you're gonna be dead. And that's that. <laughs> you're not gonna survive. He could have done a divine ray on Zemeckis and finished this whole thing off right there. He's like, no, I gotta heal I gotta heal him up. We gotta we gotta finish off Gish. We gotta finish off Zemeckis. Just, it's... <laughs> you gotta love watching the AI fight, because it's like, what? <laughs> what in God's name is going on here? And we have finished this off. I'm pretty sure his 86 agility will beat the 83, and uh, Garrett will get the victory kill. On the castle. On the castle. That is a great way to finish it. Boom. Scar's empire has been annihilated. Knew you'd be here. Hello, Dinadan. What are you thinking about? I was thinking about what it would mean to have more land in the country. Oh, aren't you happy? There's a limit to what I can do. As the territory expands, there are more things I may overlook. Small territory is easier to control. It sounds like you. But you don't have to do everything by yourself. There are people like us. I'm glad to help you. You should depend more on others. Thank you, you're right. I'll depend more on other people. Then I've always wanted to ask you this. What do you fight for? It's a good question. Well, what do I fight for? I think I fight for myself. For yourself? I wake up feeling guilty the day after I play around. I know that there are people who are unhappy out there. But if I can make everyone happy, then I wouldn't have to feel guilty for having too much fun myself. It sounds like you. Thank you. I have a question for you. What is it? It's about Princess Marriott. Oh, that. I can't put it off any longer. I know. To tell you the truth, I've already made up my mind. As a matter of fact, I visited the graves of my father and mother and told them what I decided. What is your decision? I've decided that your majesty is looking for all over for you. Must stop Princess Marriott. What? What is Princess Marriott up to now? There's no time to explain. Please come to me, with me to the gate. What's going on, Marriott? Why are you dressed like that? I've decided to go on a journey. A journey? I was going to leave without telling anyone, but Piarte caught me. King Kai, please stop her. I tried to stop her from coming with us too, but she won't listen. Isn't this too sudden? I didn't tell you before, but I had this in my mind for a long time. I decided that when the war was over, I would go on a journey to see the world. It's a good thing for you to see the world with your own eyes. What if the princess gets in an accident or something? What will happen to Carleon? Give me a break. You worry too much, Piarte. Well, looks like you already made up your mind. I'll be waiting for you to return. Thank you, Kai. Are you serious, King Kai? Mary is not a little girl anymore can't stop her from doing what she has decided to do herself. When I come back, I'll be smarter than you. I'll be looking forward to it. Things will not be the same without you, Princess. 
It's almost like the sun and the moon disappeared from the sky at the same time. Oh, I'm so flattered. I'll miss hearing Dinadan's poetic lines. Amelia, would you watch over her? Certainly. Galoot and Gush are going to be with us for a while. Please don't worry. There shouldn't be any danger since the war has ended. Marriott, don't cause them any trouble. Don't worry. I'll be fine no matter what happens. Your overconfidence is what's bothering me. Princess, please take care. I will. Okay, it's time for me to go. Every take care, everyone. Okay, take care. Bye! She's gone. Yes, she is. Gone. You were going to tell me your decision. Well, I want to keep it to myself for now. I wish you told me, but I understand. Well, let's get back to work. We must think of the future. There are things that we need to accomplish today. Peace has returned to the continent. Princess has left. This must be a new chapter for Kaleon. Not really. It hasn't changed that much. However, it's the beginning of our life of peace. That's that. All LPs on YouTube are complete. <laughs> Good game. Is that like the fox symbol for, you know, the fox has that pyramid tower with the lights? <laughs> Sacred King Calendar, Month 3, Year 219, King Kai Kirlian has put down the disturbance of the war which involved the entire continent of Forcina, according to the history book called Brigandine, Land of Kirlians had peace for some time afterwards. <laughs> in this world eternity is impossible to obtain no matter how much one longs for it beautiful flowers die with time peace kindness and happiness fade away with time however it is only because of this people will never forget the soldiers who fought bravely for that magical cookie I mean um that one moment in their lives with all they had the legend will go down in history no matter whoever writes it I mean uh however far in the past this incident has occurred as long as people care. And it's funny how the, the music goes along with that ending. Da, da, as long as people care. You know, do you hear that? I hear that. I don't know if you hear that. Like the music sounds like it's like saying the words at the very end there. Okay, so that is that. Vas ist das? We are done. We are done. All done. Oh. It's in tempo. It is in tempo at the very end there. It really is. I, I really like that too. It's like a little twist. It's like the little cherry on the top. It's like, ding, you know, um, I don't know. It just, it seems nice. But I'm totally done with this. Uh, all LPs are done. Pringer, I might be the first, first person to have all LPs done for Grand Edition and Legend of Forcina. Ever. In history, I may have, I may have a record there. I may have a record. So, I didn't complete some of these challenges. These these challenges were so hard. They were so hard. I th as soon as I failed that one challenge, it just broke me. I'm just like, oh, oh, it's like the first one I finally couldn't do. But uh, yeah, <laughs> stood no chance. <laughs> Sorry, Pringer. We have nothing to compete with there. I basically just, I, I just took the, I took the crown just, just there. It's over. It's all done. For, we're done. So the next time I'm going to do Burgundine is going to be a multiplayer. And then probably after the multiplayer, I'll do some kind of LP. I'm thinking about maybe doing a cross, you know, the cross version. I'm thinking maybe I'll do that. Might do that. That looks kind of interesting. Uh, but I will be doing... I will be doing more Brigandine. As speedrunning plans, I don't know. I like to do the, the bull oil fights to see how fast I can do them. I've already got a couple world records for that. You know, Norgard and Escalio. I killed bull oil in two turns, within two turns of fighting. 
No one's ever been able to do that. Uh, so, but other than that, like speed running the whole game, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. But I know it's a thing for some people. And maybe I'll do it, but, you know, we'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, next time you see me with Brigadine, it's going to be multiplayer. So tune in for that. It's going to be about a month from now, I'm guessing. About a month from now. I mean, if we do Deep Dungeon, it could take a little longer because Deep Dungeon is like... You got to stand in every spot to, like, activate the floor to go down below. So that could take us some time for Deep Dungeon, but, like, the normal stuff... You know, we're having some fun with this. It'll be a month at most, a month and a half, I'm thinking, but something around there, you know. And then after the uh, Final Fantasy Tactics is over, Brigadine multiplayer and uh, go from there. So I'll always do something with Brigadine on my channel because I love playing this game. And I always play this all the time, like every year. Anyway, so I might as well, I might as well stream it, you know, but... Don't care about the mods, my biggest gripe, but the old game is the horrendous AI. If there's a mod that tweaks that aspect of the game, then I'm all for it. Oh, with uh, tactics? Do you mean the tactics? Um, yeah, tactics, I'm playing War of the Lions. So there's like extra goodies to it, you know? And I put in the uh, anti slowdown feature, which kind of works. But when I'm streaming it, it still slows down because of the stream. So it still kind of slows down because of that. But Oh, the mod you said about Brigadine. Uh, the cross one, from what I've seen, it's really crazy. Like, the phoenixes aren't even phoenixes anymore. They're th I think you can just change a rock into a thunderbird. It's triple green attack, it's lightning attack, and I don't think it has a heal. At least I don't know. I've seen Drist attack. I've seen people surround Drist, and they still only have like 40% chance to hit the dude. He's a monster. He's insane. It's like literally a monster you almost can't kill this guy because his agility is just stacked and uh, the leaders are just so super cool and good so i'll have to give it a shot it's it looks different it looks interesting but most of the mods that they do like the grand battles one that valkos does he likes that one i could play that one too but i know how i could abuse it and uh it might look I don't know if you'd like to see that. But, um, yeah, fix the AI. If they fix the AI, there's a way to fix it if they were to fix it for the grand battles. If they gave more castles, more rune, like, instead of, like, 200 rune or 200 mana grow um, from owning a castle, it was, like, three or 400 or something like that, then it would work. You know, because then, because what ends up happening with grand battles, what I see is the AI bankrupt themselves. They literally bankrupt themselves because they're they're getting two free items all the time, converting something to a higher class. It has a higher cost, and so because it has a higher cost, they can't afford to buy anything new. So you see, like, two salamanders or two bombots or something like that in a pack of ghouls. It just fighting that is too easy for me because uh, I'd either just kill the bombot or AOE all the ghouls, something like that. So I mean, grand battles can be hard. In different scenarios, um, but I kind of see what I need to do. The cross mod might be interesting because I don't even know what I need to do. I'd, I'd like to try something completely different. You know, if I'm gonna play the Brigandine again, there's also another mod on the Grand Edition that I can play, that I could play, and it'd be crazy too. It gives it gives all countries like a few extra higher leveled things. Everybody gets a lapis too. So there's some other things. So if you want to leave some suggestions for me, for Brigandine, uh, or in there, definitely put it in the uh, Discord link, you know, so I can see it. And uh, I'll definitely keep an eye open and, and think about it, maybe give it a shot, you know. But that's it. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, I had a lot of fun. And I will see you again, hopefully, tomorrow. I'm going to be playing some uh, Bombot Lagoon tomorrow so if you like that you want to come by come by saturday night i'll be trying that out we'll play somewhat of we'll play a little bit of that and every saturday i'm going to try to play something new or different if i don't think of something i might play another game i played before i might play some age of mythology on saturdays too if i want to but saturdays is going to be like whatever comes up sometimes i have friends that want to play some games on saturdays and i just call it off and i just hang out with some friends and do that but uh, saturdays is going to be kind of a 
uh, a special, like Saturday night special type deal. You know, so Saturday's going to be interesting. If you want to come by Sunday nights, come by for Final Fantasy Tactics, you know. Uh, and you can see Tactics on Sunday nights. Co-op. Co-op Tactics. Uh, so what are you guys saying? All the mods I've seen are just for Grand Edition, never for the original game. Yeah, because everybody wants... Because you have the multiplayer in a Grand Edition. Everybody wants to, like, look at all the stats and figure this out and that out and the other thing. You know, if they would, like, work on the original, that would be interesting. That would be interesting if somebody wanted to mod the original to, to change some things around. Like, like I, I hear you. I hear you, Pringer. I do. Uh, several level 10s, and it's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Well, it depends on what they have, what teams they have. They could have several level 10s, but then they're, like, level 1 level 10. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're like, level 1 salamanders. Or something like that. So, like, they have a little bit of extra range. Their, their attack is a little bit better. But they're still just as easy to kill as a level 2 or 5 dragon. It's not that much harder. It's just a little bit. But if you let the AI build up and get stronger, then it's a little harder. But by that time... I don't know. Like, I've had discussions so many times and I, like... You know, it could be really good, it could be really bad. I just see certain mods, like that one I see as a teeter-totter. Like it starts off really powerful and then it gets really weak. Uh, the cross mod thing, I haven't even tried it, but it looks like really powerful. It might be really powerful going through. So I'm going to give it a shot, but I'm going to try some other stuff because I want to see some other things. And as far as the challenges goes, uh, unless I'm just playing the basic game or whatever, I might just I might take some challenges as I'm playing, but I might just play the game naturally just to see what I can do, you know? Just afraid to mess with them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know, I gotta try out some other ones and uh, check them out, you know. But definitely come by, talk with me on the website because I won't be on uh, normal LP Brigandines for, for some time. So if you want to talk to me about Brigandine, come by the website. Uh, make up a chat post there. You can even come by the Discord and talk there too. That's cool. Whatever you feel like doing, it's totally fine with me. But you know, let me know if you want to talk more about this game with me. Get in contact with me. Get in contact with me. If you want to send me a message on YouTube, that's great. But sometimes YouTube doesn't notify me. That's another reason why I want to move to Twitch a little more so because I'll look back on some messages and be like, "Damn, this is a month ago. Someone left me a message a month ago. I'll reply to them." But you know. Sometimes it's like, well, that was a month ago. Why don't you why don't you see it? Well, YouTube. You know, I can't help you there with that. So if you really want to be in contact with me, the best way is the Brigadine website down below. You can check it out. You can be a part of the forum sections. You can talk on the forums. There's a lot of people there. I think we have, uh, I think we signed up four hundred or five hundred people so far. So there's a lot of people there. There's discussions, there's all kinds of things to talk about there. You can go there, come to my Discord site, link down below too, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube, whatever, and uh, come talk with me and, uh, yeah. 500 people? Yeah, yeah. We, like, there's always applications getting accepted all the time. So, you know, and I'm not saying, like, people are constantly conversing, like, left and right all the time it's just there's a lot of people there and there's discussions that go on and people are still talking about stuff so yeah yeah you've been missing out pringer definitely definitely drop drop by and uh i don't know if you're already in it you might already be i don't know <laughs> but um yeah there's a lot of people in there so leave some posts people will talk to you and uh, all that stuff just try to keep it kind of civil you know just keep it civil everybody let's keep it civil you know, let's all be friends here. Let's all be friends. So, uh, fan art of the game, yeah, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of fan art. I put a lot of the art in there from all the backgrounds, all the backdrops, like even what you see here too. Which I'm gonna do this real quick just to show you. Uh, where's the game? Yeah, and sorry about the alerts. I, I did, it's I don't know what's happened, but Steam Labs didn't work. Um. See this art back here? Uh, 
I put all the art that's in Burgundine in the website too. So like even this backdrop here, which too, this is part of Carleon's backdrop as well. That's in the website. So there's art in the website. There's, it, you gotta look in the gallery section in the website to find the art. It's in the gallery. You know, there's form section for there's for grand edition, Legend of Forcina, general for all discussions, whatever you wanna talk about, other game topics, uh, other things as well. Um, music, Valkos actually composed or, or like resynthesized a few different uh, musical pieces and that's in there as well. You can download some of that there too. You can find the Grand Edition game there that I play that you've seen as my LPs here. You can get that in the, uh, the website as well. Everything you can imagine I'm trying to put in that website. So if you got something to display, something to talk about, that's going to be an archived historical thing that's going to live on forever. So hopefully you'll, <laughs> you'll enjoy that there too. But um, Discord, Brigadine.engine, I'll plug that forever, you know. Uh, version 2, that's nah, version... I wouldn't say it's like, it's not exactly like 2, but it's, it's more of, um, it's more of a, a site that, that can't go down if... if uh, if something were ever to happen to me in the future, like I don't exist anymore, then someone would have, to, well, I mean, if people do help pay a little bit too, there is like the last one people couldn't pay for or the guy couldn't pay for it. He just stopped it and the other company took it over and we've had discussion before. But, um, you know, if something were to happen, it's uh, it might lose some features, some data, but it's still gonna remain. It'll never get deleted. It's always gonna be there. So if people do help out, there's more data that can be put into it. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. Definitely go check it out and uh, enjoy yourself and bring a friend, you know, talk with some people. People are trying to build mods in there as well. So there's a lot of people talking about mods, how they want to make this thing or make that thing. There's a guy, there's a moderator named Rune that um, uh, is in full discussion with most of those people because he, he knows a little more about those technical things. I think he might have actually helped with some of the cross mod. I think he did, but I don't know. At least he might have. I, I can't remember. <laughs> There's just a lot of stuff going on half the time in there. Uh, so, yep. There's um, nothing else to say. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with this. So, hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm going to close up shop tonight and... Uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna kick off some Valmont Lagoon, and then Sunday we're gonna play some Tactics. So I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, if you have suggestions for a Brigandine LP in the future, or type of Brigandine LP in the future, let me know. Hopefully in the Discord, but you can hear in this video as well. Uh, and I hope I get to see it, or on Twitch. You know, however you feel like. But Discord is like a really good place to uh, see all that stuff. So, anyways, I am done. Peace out, everybody. I will see you. The next Brignine that will be out here will be a multiplayer. And that will be in about a month. So, sorry you have to wait that long. But it's just the way things are. Uh, next Friday night is probably going to be Battle Brothers, I'm guessing. I'll probably play some Battle Brothers and show you some of the good stuff that I got in Battle Brothers, which is kind of like Brigandine in a way. It's got the hexagonal shape movements and such, which is kind of cool. But there's also levels. You go up and down levels, you know. So I'll probably do some Battle Brothers next Friday just to fill in, you know, Fridays with something fun. But, uh, yeah, good night, Dragoon Seal. Good night, Sayusu. Good night, uh... Pringer, good night. Val, good night, everybody that's been here. Uh, everybody that popped in here, Big Maddie. You know, I'm, I'm happy we finally got that uh, bronze, but we just couldn't get that talus. Just couldn't knock at the talus. Just wasn't going to happen. Uh, I just, I don't know. I feel like it was, it's too much. It's too much. Like, having, trying to do a challenge with every color every different color assortment per night and having to get every single type of monster so not just a talus i also have to get a talus a bronze golem a stone golem a regular golem you know 
and lead only with Dinadan's team. And do you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, it's so, and I'm playing on hard, so I don't have as much time as I would on easy, you know? So uh, I wish I could have finished it all, but just it just didn't seem to happen this time around. It's ironic, the final LP, I had to fail some challenges. I've pretty much passed every challenge, every LP before this. But next time we'll, we'll do something exciting for Brigadine for an LP, okay? So if you want to give me some suggestions, I might try the, the, you know, the grand battles. I might try that if that's a heavy suggestion. I might try that, but I'm kind of thinking cross. I'm kind of thinking I want to try that because it's got some different elements to it. I haven't tried before. I don't know anything about it, really. Like, all the things they've changed, I don't really know much about it. I've only seen a little bit, you know? So, uh, Talos was a god of sorts. I think it's a, I think it's a Gigas or a Giant. But in this game, they make him like a steel, you know, golem and all that. Probably way off, just where that went, like, dark purple for its texture. Dark purple? Really? I always thought it was just blue, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably seeing it wrong. <laughs> Colors are wrong or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to talk about. I'm, I, I, I'm running out of steam here. I don't know what else to, to talk about. So in the future, you're going to see some multiplayers on my channel. If if we're done with multiplayer, I'll do some LP of some kind. Brigadine, I, I want to continue doing something Brigadine for this channel for the foreseeable future, you know, but uh, all the basic LPs, all of Brigadine Legend of Forcina is done. I've checked that off for this channel for YouTube. All of Grand Edition is done. That's all checked off for YouTube. It's all done. Uh, finished all the LPs. So, I want to be Brigandine video. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pringer, I hate to I hate to shove this in your face, but I guess it's the way it goes. You know, I just finished it, but um Yeah, dude. You're just gonna have to get a capture card and just just do it. Just gonna have to. My capture cards in the past, they die. They die so easily. And it's just like, oh this sucks. I hate it. It like a capture card lasts me like a year and a quarter. Almost all the time. And then it just it throws up and uh, you know it's like a scene from the Evil Dead it's it's done it's done I've got nothing I've got nothing I can't use it anymore you know it's bad so capture cards always break I mean I I, I, I never know when I'm gonna find one that doesn't break and I don't do anything to it it just sits there all the time you know it just sits there behind the TV and it does what it's supposed to do but it you know it's always breaks on me always breaks on me so yeah so anyways uh, I think to finish this off here which actually be kind of kind of cool I think you might like this I'm just gonna like flip through some of the pictures here just to kind of show you uh, all the pictures like well I can't I don't know if I can show you all of them make sure you most of them but there's a lot of pictures here that are on the website I basically got I think I got them all I might have them all uh, I have to turn off my overlay though so you can see this a little better but I think I have them all so I could probably ch look at that and show you some pictures here if you want to see some so I've got there's the castle where you explode or you gain knowledge here's the Baron Manor here's uh Well, there's the forest, there's... Oh, here's uh, Dolores Guard. The fan work stuff. Yeah, there's... Um, uh, some people have to put up more more basic fan. There's a few fan art that I found, but a lot of it's in a different language, and I don't know who to credit, so I can't just, like... I don't know if I should just grab it and uh, take it. I've, I've found a few of them, though. But, yeah, people want to put some fan art in there. If you got some fan art that you know... Uh, yeah, if you got some fan art, Pringer, definitely, you know, go there and, uh, I think you can put it in the gallery. I think you just have to be a registered guy to do it. Registered guy or girl, whatever, what have you. 
There's um this is inside this is Grandish and this is inside um Brangian's uh quarters. That's her quarter right there. Turn off all these other little pics because it's uh we're just done. I'm just showing some art because you know, why not? Why not? Here's the cottage where Myron Malay. Well, this is also Lucia too. This is Lucia too, but this is where Myron Malay uh, meet their nanny in Grand Edition. Lucia, I think, has the same scene as well. Here's Belger's area, where you find Belger. He's the king of the bridge. He's king of the bridge, kind of like uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grails. It's you know. <laughs> None shall pass. I have no quarrel with you, good tonight, but I must cross this bridge. <laughs> and it's just a little, it's a little stream. There's Kai's study right there. Yeah, there's tons of pictures here. I could go through some of them. Uh, one of the fan, this one I like a lot. I like, uh, I like this night a lot. She's one of my favorites, actually. That's some fan art that someone did. I don't, I don't know who to credit. I can't read some of the language that. That's there, but um, yeah, here's the backdrop of the castle. Here's the ghost castle. Uh, that is, um, damn it, what's her name? Now I'm brain farting hard. Uh, you meet her at a bar, and there she was a hostess at a bar. Her name is. I'm not brain now. Now that you're asking me, I'm gonna brain fart hard on this. I'm not gonna remember it. That is, I'm gonna say Val, no, it's not. Yeah, it's a quest night in, in Grand Edition, though. She's a good knight, I like her. Let's see here. Oh, here's one of the challenges, uh, Pringer. To, to get as high as XP as possible, I had to get more than uh, uh, Alti's score. And I got this, 8,241 experience points. Yeah, she was a Lancer. Oh, man, I'm going to... Sorry, I can't remember right now. But um, LT wanted me to get the most experience possible, and I got that, which I got like 100 or so XP higher than she did. I basically... This battle was with Norgard, and I Meteor Doomed the Queen and Patroness, killed her and him and most of the monsters, all in a big hit with a Halo spell. That's what I got off that. That was one of the challenges I did in one of the LPs there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got that with a meteor doom on the killing the queen, a high level queen, a high level patternist, and a bunch of monsters. That was an AOE meteor doom with a halo spell. Uh, so we've got that was with uh, that was one of the challenges that I had to do was beat this uh, beat uh, Alti Alteria's challenge after that, you know. <laughs> I was like, I beat it. I, I thought she didn't think I could beat it, but I did beat that. I beat, I did that, and I beat that. Here's a Scalio there. I don't think that's the right pick. I think that one's blown up a bit. That's the throne room, though. Scalio's throne room. Uh, honey, I call this one Honey Pot Road, although, you know, this is most quests, but you get the honey quest on this one, you know? Yeah, I got most of, uh, oh yeah, and the map too. I redesigned the uh, the uh, Japanese file of the map to, um, so you could see it, you know, in English. And I made the colors so it's a little bit more seeable there, you know. Because it has Soul Steam in there. So if you're playing Grand Edition, you're using an old map, you're not using the right map. Because some of the territories don't connect, like... Kale uh, and Cenodon do not connect in Grand Edition. Uh, let's see what else. I was going to use this for one of the multiplayers, uh, Pringer. <laughs> I thought this looked pretty cool, but Val didn't like this one. He didn't like Val didn't like the this face pick in there. He didn't like he didn't like the Photoshop that I that I did. I'm like, but dude, this looks awesome. I mean, Paul looks seriously pissed. I mean, this is like amazing stuff. The shades, they look good. I'm like, Val, why don't you like that? I'm like, that one looks good. 
that one looks great. You know? That looks good. I was thinking it looked good. I was gonna play with it more, but then he's like, no, I don't want it. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, whatever. Whatever, you know. Uh, what else I gotta show? Oh, this this scene. I love I love this scene right here. This scene is really cool. <laughs> yeah, the shades. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got some shades too I wear sometimes, but this scene I like a lot. This is when Zemeckis meets uh, Bullnoil and Kador right there. Had to take a snapshot of that. That's this is this is a boss looking scene right there. Let's see what else we got. Oh, there's there's a there's a better close up here. Bullnoil and Kador. He's got this face. He's got two faces on each shoulder. I've always wondered what that was. I'm guessing that's Leland and Haley, as they were beforehand. But I don't know. It looks like elf ears, you know, on this one dude, uh, you know, from the shoulder pad dude on that side. So I don't know what that. I don't know what those are. I don't know if that's like help helps his life force or whatever. Because this guy, Bullnoil, has lived for like 400 plus years. He's he's practically immortal. Whatever he's done, probably necromancy. You know, probably necromancy to keep himself alive. Pretty sure that's probably it. Like, this is a great scene there, too. Although I didn't really change that one all that much. I had to kind of fit these, um... Oh, and, uh, I couldn't find a good one. So I used my old map, and I put it in the websites. This is in the website, too. This is the class up chart for LOF. And, uh... That's, that's, um... There, it's, it's old. <laughs> you can kind of tell it's like not the digital art. It's literally just photocopied of uh, <laughs> of the page itself. Castle Gate. Let's see what what other interesting things are here. Oh, here's the um, Salamander attack. Yeah, that's from the guy. That's from the game. That's the manual. I know the website. I put the manual in the gallery. The manual of the game is in the gallery. Every single page is there. This is when a Salamander attacks uh, Myra Malay's town on that quest and it gets burnt up. So this is in Grand Edition. The regular one you don't get to see this background, but this is the one and only background pick of when the Salamander attacks Myra and Malay and you get that you get that cutscene. Just a random wild Salamander just shows up out of nowhere. They're like, you guys are cursed. No, we're not. Here comes a salamander, and it's gonna kill everybody. <laughs> well, maybe we are. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here's um, here's here's some of the pages here. So I basically took my this is my game book, copied it, put it on the website. So it's this is in the website too. So you can check out the the whole manual and book, everything there from the first page to the last page. <laughs> it's all the, it's on the the website. Oh, here's some fan art there, too. Someone else made this fan art as well. I don't know who made some of these fan arts, you know? But this, some of this is in there. If you can find fan art or you want to put fan art in the website, please do. Please saturate it with fan art. I'd love to see more art in there. Art, music, you know, discussions, whatever, what have you. Definitely go in um, Portraits of Aldous and Yvain. Yeah, they're actually in there. Uh, I think Val put a lot of pictures of there. some of the basic art. He found a lot of that. Popped it in there, too. Um, this is when uh, Frost is playing with us. I, I, I made him into... Uh, <laughs> that's his... Um, I, put, I superimposed his face into the, uh, into the picture there. So if you got a face pick and you want to put it in, I could superimpose you in there. You know, I, I love doing that. It's kind of fun. Which obviously he doesn't show his face, so that's that's what he wanted me to do. Uh, so let's see what else. Someone else made this. No, wait, 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 not that pick. Someone else made this, and I had to touch it up a little bit. I don't. I'm trying to think about where this is though. Um, I think it's at the bottom here. I know I'm talking, you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm looking through my files. See where some of these picks are. I can't find it right now. Here's the round table though. Here's the round table right there. Good looking, good looking pixel art of them. Oh, cool, cool. I think, Pringer, you said you were doing pixel art too. So yeah, if you want to have throw some pixel art in there, that'd be cool. 
try out some different things. You know, if you got some different things, you know, definitely pop some stuff in there. Have some fun with that. Uh, here's some art that I have that this was in the original, uh, get, you see the game box design, Grand Edition there with Haley. This is the front cover. And there's other art for the front covers there too. There's Haley and Kador. That's front box cover art for the game, for the discs. Uh, there's one for Carleon, which I actually used for this, for this scene. Took me forever to do it, but I did it. Here's Carleon for box art cover. You can see where the, um, um, all the information is there, you know. Had an HD spray for a while, White Dragon portrayed, texture and animation. Ah, cool. Yeah, definitely if you can if you can put it in there, that'd be cool. Uh, here's Norgard. Right there. These are some nice art things that you just don't see. You're not gonna naturally find this and see this. I found some of these pieces and I saved them. I still have them. I don't think you can find some of these pieces online anymore, because after a while that just goes away. Like, I try looking and I can't find some things that I, you know, that I, that I now have. I can't find some of them anymore. Um, what else? What else? I showed you this Loris Guard. I did the Loris Guard. Uh, mm. See, I did this to make an interesting piece because I wanted to, like, you know, make it look almost lifelike, like it just pops out at you. So I kind of did this. I tweaked it a little bit, you know. You do animate it though. Oh, just uh, it, look at how you do it on GIMP. You can do it on GIMP. You can make GIFs off of GIMP pretty easily. You just have to like look, look for some instructions, do it with GIMP, and you can easily grab that, you know. You know, easiest is three frames. Yes, it would be pretty easy. These are, uh, I've been using Octopath as a base as some of them they have come out really nice for my D&D. Ah, oh, it's cool, cool. I don't know much about Octopath and probably nothing. So if you want to show me what I got to do on Discord, you can. Um, oh, here's some older art picks, uh, Pringer, that you're asking about too. You will not, you will have a hard time finding this. But I have some other art picks. I have to go find some more of this too. Since this whole LP thing is done, and I'm, I just want to like work on some art, grab some more art pieces, put it into the the game. There's Kai, you know, he's either sleeping or reading something. I don't know, one of the two. But um, there's some black and white. There was like a manga with some black and white stuff. So here's uh, there's Dinadan and Kai. Dinadan's laughing his ass off, and Kai's like, huh, you know, right there. Got one of uh, sleeping. This is a disheveled Lance after he just lost his his country. He's on a sleeping bag. This is obvious a sleeping bag. He's like really really disheveled that you know his country lost and he's gonna cry himself to sleep. I, I'm guessing that's that's what he's gonna do. I think he's leaning learning the concept of magic or something in that pick. Yeah, yeah. These are some different ones that I found. It took some scurrying to find some of these. Uh, here is, I'll let you guess. She's in Carleon's, uh, <laughs> army though. I'll let you guess who this is. Nope. Mila isn't, uh, um, that well endowed, I don't think. <laughs> nope, Lakara has long, way longer hair. She's got, like, this, kind of this, you know, pointed face or whatever. There's a scene when you play in Grand Edition where Sierra tries to give Kai a gift, and Marriott does too, but they argue about whose gift is better. That's Sierra. Uh, we also have... If you can guess who this is, you win. You win! Yes. 
If you can guess who these two are, you win the game. <laughs> you win the game. <laughs> sort of what starts the game. <laughs> you can guess what this is. Just any anybody else who can guess who these two man and woman are. Can can you guess? It should be pretty easy. Think way, 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 way back to the beginning. You win the ultimate prize. Yep. You win the ultimate prize. That is Leland and Haley. Got, uh, you can guess this. This is a little harder. I don't know if you can guess this one. It's between Carleon and New Omechia. It's one of those, one of those nights. No, I, yeah, it was a spear. It was, it was Haley's spear. This sort of tips you off a little bit too, you know? Boom! Man, boom goes the dynamite. You got it. That's Melligan. Here's um <laughs> Can you guess who these three are? This one's a little harder, but it's still... Yeah, all three. All three. Her, him, and him. Him, the top left, her on the right. I, I'm using my mouse. I, you can't see my mouse. I, I thought you could, but you can't. Uh, let me, let me uh, show mouse here. Can you see mouse now? I think you can see mouse now. This guy, her... And this guy in the bottom left here. I spent nine hours with this chick named Brisket the other day. She was thick and smoking, so I can't help. It's like, what? <laughs> I can barely see the Lance Lua like. Yes, this is Lance in the bottom left. His, his double shoulder pads, his double armored shoulder pads, that's always a giveaway. This woman here, that's Adelicia. Adelicia and Melgan have a thing for each other. So she's got that look when you know he's walking away. But Melgan's always pissed. So, you know. <laughs> Help mine. Hey, welcome. <laughs> How you doing tonight? I finished the game. I'm done with all the LPs. I'm just showing some art and just relaxing now, you know. The woman's going to be a guest. Yeah, Adelicia. In Grand Edition, they have more of a little love story between the two, Adelicia and Melgant. You'll see some cutscenes with that. And so when he's walking away, he's always pissed because, like, he doesn't want Lance to be king. He doesn't want Lance to have any of this territory. He's like, why is Lance here? Why can't we just kick him out? You know, Melgant doesn't care for Lance much. Until Lance becomes king, then he's like, ah, well, maybe he's okay. I don't know. Never really cares for the kid. Um. Ooh, here's a good one. Now, I'm sure you can guess this one. If only they had another Brigandine on PS2. Eh, it's never going to happen, hemp mind. I mean, I want to, like, I don't want to get your hopes up. I, I'd love to say yes, maybe, but then I'm getting your hopes up, and then you're like, but Trigger said it's going to happen, and he's played this game forever, and he knows so much. Sorry, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to, like, pat you on the back and send you away with a, with a smile on your face saying, yes, it's going to happen, man. It's going to happen tomorrow. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I, I'm just going to be lying to you, and I can't do that. Uh, you stop recognizing Lance is worthy when you have, like, ha yeah. Yeah, when you have half the kind of Marriott and Malay. Easy. Yes, exactly. Malay is the painter, so there's the there's the um, paint book or whatever art book she's got. 
right there. We can't have everything we want, I understand, I do too. It's, it's a sad, 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 sad world right there. So here's the other one. Now, you can probably guess who all these characters are now that you've seen some of the other picks. But we can have a bootleg of what we want. Yeah, we can. We can do that. Can you guess these three chicks? Marriott, Lacara, and Sierra. Yes, Marriott on the right, Sierra in the middle, and Lacara on the left. Because Lacara, see, that's that's Lacara. She's uh, that's why when you meet her the first time, the guys gush or gash, gush, or gash, whatever. They're both like, oh, whoa. You know, when they see Lacara, they're like, whoa. She's basically a model right there. She's she's model material. I mean, they all look good, but Lakar is like the looker, apparently. Um, what is this one? I'm trying to figure out what... The, the only thing that I couldn't figure out is like, who is this? This is definitely a female on the right, because there's... You know? She's got something hanging from her shirt, and I'm sure it's not just the shirt. But it's Marriott with, I don't know. I almost thought in the past it was Lance, but then I'm looking at the shirt. I'm like, nope, that's not a dude. <laughs> Mila looks like a child here. I don't think that's Melia. I was, I wanted to say that's Lance, but it's not Lance. I don't know who this, this younger female woman is, this younger girl is. I don't know who this younger woman is on the right. I, I don't know. Unless this is Sheila. Uh, or... Cortina? Or... It's definitely not Victoria. I have no idea who the person on the right is, but... Yeah. Marriott and uh, some random person on the right. Mouth Melia has the same dot in her face. You sure? I think you're right. Yeah, now that I twist my head and I look at it, man, you, you make a good point. You get just, just twist your head and then it comes to light. Okay, that makes a point. Okay, here's a, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Who are these two? We, uh, we just had this tonight. We had this discussion tonight for a while. Who can you guess these two are? <laughs> no, yeah, I think you're right. I think that is Amelia. She's looking down at her. Escalados and Garrett. Yes, easy. There's Escalados just waiting for the fight. And Garrett's going to rush in there. Because Garrett's the younger guy with the beard, you know. Escalados, the old dude. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got a few other ones. I don't have a ton more to showcase. This one's always kind of funny. I like this one. Sleeping, sleeping uh, king, carry Leon, dinner down with this infamous wink. You know, doing that. And uh, yeah, so that's some extra fan art that uh, I found. That's from a. I th actually think that's from a manga that they made a long ago. They got a manga that they made. So if you find some art, you don't know where it's from. Definitely just put it in the website too. If you find it, you want to pop it in there. More the merrier. Definitely the more the merrier. Uh, here's Brangian. This is some of her original art that I like. This this one I like. I like I like this picture of Brangian a lot. I really do. This is one of the best pictures made in Brigandine, right here. Her and G is terrible. Well, the holy bow isn't quite as bad, but you know. So, yeah, there's extra art I can go over. Uh, this one's interesting. There's Lance, Haley, Leoness, and Kador. Kind of a weird mix there, but that's there. That's that's that was a cover. <laughs> that's a cover art. <laughs> it's a little weird for that kind of a mix right there, don't you think? 
Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, uh, Pringer, I did, I also did color this a little bit, but here I translated this. And on the website, I wrote down what the translation was for this. I talked to a Norse expert, and apparently either they took a photocopy of an actual rune line, and they put it in Burgundine, or else they made it up themselves. But this actually does say something. There's an actual saying, and I put it in the website for what the saying was. And uh, so if you want to find out what that means, go on the website, and I've written down the best translation I could for this. This is a, this actually has a meaning. It's not just random runes. It's actually it's actually translation. Ghidorah's like, why am I posing in front of these goody two-shoes? Yeah, he probably is thinking that. Yeah, but this background scene, this actually is a real translation. Yeah, and uh, I did too, and I cleaned it up a little better than this, but this is just one of those. This is one of those I had for a background for a different uh, LP I was doing. I think one of the Carleon's ones I did. Because I want to do green, you know, obviously. But um, this has a real translation to it. And uh, it's it's old. It's not just, it's not related to Burgundine. It's an old translation, but it does have the word Dan in there, which is funny, you know. Dinner Dan, it's kind of funny. Uh, this one here? Oh, that's some fan. I put a question mark over that. But I changed some of the text. So there was a different one that was... That was kind of the original that I just twisted a little bit. And it looks a little better. But there's some extra fan art, too. Uh, what else? To showcase... Oh, this one. Leader slices, right there. So... Somebody wrote this. But I think it was Spanish, and they wrote S Agaris or S S or Agaris or whatever. They wrote more to that. I had to change it and twist it to make it say Escaris, you know, instead of whatever they wrote. But somebody else did this too. I've used some of these uh, picks in some of my games as well. So yeah, there's just a ton of art here that I could go over all night. Oh, this one. Uh, Val didn't want to do this one. Okay, I'm trying to remember what. It was. He, did, he didn't want me to, to, to showcase this. I was going to put him in one of the... Because like I had to like twist the face, and I just shoved the face up there, and he was like, no, I don't want that one. I'm like, oh, man, it's kind of funny. You know? <laughs> so I got that one. <laughs> I didn't get to use that one. But uh, got some Norgard picks here. Yeah, there's just so much art. So much art, so much fun stuff to this game. This is one of the best picks, though, right here, which I've used for the new Omekia one. This is the sunset. This is when, this is when, um, uh, Noi sings. Or no, no, not Noi. This is when, um, Faticia sings. And Faticia actually sings in Grand Edition in Japanese, and they did not change that when they did the retranslation for English, you know? <laughs> no, I, they gave me some picks to work with, and I, I'm, you know, working with, you know, turning them into something, you know, to use for the MP. And I'm like, hey, what about this? And he's like, don't use that. <laughs> Delete that. No one should see that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when Faticia sings to Gwinglin, remember that? Frost gets out. <laughs> he doesn't want to put his face out here, so I can't, I can't, uh. I can't showcase that. But Val's already, he's got his face here, so it's like, what are you going to do? But, uh, yeah, that's... There's more art in the website. You know, I'm not going to go around this all night. I mean, I'd like to, but I need... Um... <sighs> I need to get some sleep. I need to get done. So, totally done. Totally done. The LPs are all done. Uh, I'll do an LP in the future after a multiplayer, but I'll be doing either a multiplayer or an LP. One of the two. One of the two things will be on my channel. That's all, you know, for the future. But uh, we'll have pretty much a month respite just because Final Fantasy Tactics is, you know, still going. That's That's got another month, 
month and a quarter maybe to go if we're going to do some deep dungeon which like some some of us really want to do it some people want to see it so we might do deep dungeon deep dungeon takes a while to get through but as far as everything goes we the next fight this sunday is against lead and sally which is a very hard fight and then we're going to fight elmdor you know in his vampire form so that's uh that's going to be hard but i am a dark knight my, my, my character, Ramza, is a Dark Knight take, so I might be able to just one-shot them. But they could one-shot me, too, because they have the knife hand, which does instant death. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how we pull through that fight. But uh, we got some pretty powerful stuff, you know, so it might be okay. But, uh, yeah, a month, month and a quarter uh, till we're done with tactics, and then we'll jump into a multiplayer. So, yeah, next week I'm going to try to assemble a powwow of people if i can't then the week after that but i'm gonna keep trying to get as many people together as possible and then we'll like work it all out and we'll do a multiplayer okay so that's all i got to showcase thanks everybody for being here i know i've said this a million times if you want to subscribe to my channel on youtube that's great but i'm gonna be moving more to twitch so if you're on the twitch side of things you're going to see things live but i'm going to try to have that be posted to YouTube to still. So you'll still get to watch on YouTube if you want uh, to see it later. Or if you can't see it live, then you'll get to see it on YouTube. So that's kind of what I'm going to do with my channel. And uh, so this weekend, whether I do or I don't, um, you know, it's going to be up to whether I, whether I, have, whether I can or I can't. But um, anyways, that's it. That's it. I've said that's it like a million times. I hope you have a good night. I hope you sleep well. Uh, come by tomorrow for some for some uh, Bombot Lagoon, Sunday for Tactics, and Wednesday for Mech Warrior Wednesdays. So buy two as well, buy three, buy four, buy everybody that's been here. Sayonara, thanks for being here. We're gonna ride off into the sunset, and uh, that's that's all I've got to showcase. Have a great night, everybody. Victorious, sire!